Well, uh, <laughs> that sucks for you. Yeah, that's what. Uh... Yeah. All, right, all right, where we last left off, you guys. Uh... Oh, all you did was one battle. Jeez, you guys are so slow. <laughs> one battle, and we didn't level up. <laughs> you didn't level up. Well, the, the, the week prior, you ended right where you started. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Which is kind of funny. And uh, this week, though, or last week, you um, and you cleaned out that floor, and, and it was a long, epic battle. Uh, slash should get to there. Let's go back to there. What's this place called again? Not Reed Manor. That's a different manor with a wizard in it. Hinesburg Estate. What is it with wizards and manors? I guess well, they don't have only. any of their own. Wizards like towers, right? Towers, yeah. yeah. Wizards usually take towers. Uh, so Boris was so tired after that fight, he went home. <laughs> <laughs> so when we asked the pup, yeah, you guys that. slaughtered everybody. Just absolutely slaughtered them all. And uh, I did give you some loot uh, from a room. But there, the, the wizard, the pale map. man, turned into a pile of bugs and went down. Yeah, uh, but however, you did find not only did you find a trap door in the lounge that goes down, but you also found a secret door that goes up uh, to the second floor. You also had the door where he came through uh, down here in the foyer uh, that goes to the second up to the second floor as well. But that one was arcane locked. Uh, I believe, though, there is another door up there that you could go through as well. So, uh, down. We're chasing the bugs. You're chasing the bugs? Okay. You're going down? All right. So you're going to go into the lounge and go into the underground. I've got two levels of contamination, so I'm taking my Aqua X in case I get hit with it again. Okay. You don't, uh, you don't, you don't want three? No. Although I can heal them, I get a freaking level of exhaustion for each one. So, the, um, you know, that's like, that'd be three levels of exhaustion, which even after my short rest is two levels of exhaustion, which is too many. Two levels is okay. Three levels is when it starts getting difficult. For sure. Yeah, but when I, when I cast a spell to call, cure it, it causes one level of exhaustion for each one. Oh, this will be which, tough choices for you then. Well, hopefully, I get three shots without without taking it. Uh, what is mud pie concentrating on? I was just about to remove that because I have no idea. Well, it might be something important. You know. Hey, Zen, know what is that red mace on your character? I meant to ask you a couple times. It's the aura of hate. It's the uh, bonus charisma bonus to my bite. Okay, mm -hmm. you got it. Uh, oh, you already moved it. Here, I was looking for it. Uh, okay, so heading to the basement reveals a damp and d damp and dank cave. There's thick moisture in the air and an acrid smell mixed with the scent of hot garbage. It's hard to pinpoint where the smells are coming from, but it's unpleasant to say the least. There are a few torches along the cavern edge that seem to light the path ahead. Oh, did I turn those lights on? Oh, I did. Look at me. Yep. Look at me. You did. Anything on this table? How are we for spell slots after the short rest? So, uh, I mean, Liza doesn't have a lot. She's got one first, two second, and two third, but she's really got to save one third to get rid of her contamination. So, one first, two second, one third, essentially, that I can use pretty freely. Okay. I got a bunch of cantrips. <laughs> okay. You got cantrips for days. Cleric? And one second, one third, and one fourth. That's okay. what I care about most. Yeah. Like, I like heels. As, a so, as, a, as the solo tank tonight, I'm also <laughs> most concerned about that. I've also got um, that um, thing I got that I can cast other spells with. The, um, Oh, Steward Seal, which is, I can cast one room. pretty good spell with that a day, so. All right. You, did you use your Pearl of Power? No, we got. I did use my Pearl of Power and Arcane Recovery. Okay. I think there's more healing in the party 
treasure too. There's the Kyogum's ointment and some other stuff too. Looks like a ladder up over there. As a reminder though, if it's in the party stash, I won't let you use it in the middle of a combat, right? So let me look and see what's in there. Yeah, let's look. We should probably... I have Bye, Liza. I didn't see your... Oh, by yourself. Ocean of Invisibility. Ooh. Bestow Curse. I think... I'll take that. That's a cleric spell, right? Yeah. Or a wizard spell. I'm going to search this area. You want it? Uh, just as a reminder, uh, anything you remove from the party stash, you'll have to delete from the party stash afterwards. Yeah, because the potion of greater healing someone should take. <clears throat> there are three of those. Um, I already have two on my person. Okay. If if I have to use two in a combat, we're going to lose. <laughs> uh, I have one, too. Of, I'm going to so take one of the it. potions. And also a reminder, when you move, if there's like three potions and you move it, it'll move three potions into your inventory. Yeah. yeah. So I'm working on that. So just make those adjustments. Tele yeah. Telekinesis isn't bad. That's a, there's a scroll of telekinesis in there. Anybody able to cast that? Uh, I'm I've got that in my I'm guessing it's on my uh, spell list. Oh, wait, no. I don't have. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, telekinesis yeah, should be yes. a sorcerer spell, yes. Pretty certain. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that uh, you were saying you're searching that area. That ladder goes up to a um, uh, trap door. Mm, do I think that's? Do do I, did we find that trap door? No. Did we search the house. No. I think there's there's a door over here. Let's stay on this level and then we'll switch levels. Okay. Somebody want to check for traps? I can check for traps. Hey, Liza, there's uh, some gold hi hiding around here. <laughs> Is that a best <laughs> place for to check for traps, Darren? Uh, you don't find any traps. Okay. I didn't find any traps. All right. Uh, it seems that an early attempt to expand the tunnels failed. There's a dreg crushed under a pile of rubble here, and there is no way past the rubble. All right. Search, search search the, the area. Search right. this area and rifle through all the dead bodies. All right. Uh, you search the area. The uh, crushed drag is clutching a candle and a vial of aqua delirium. Aqua delirium? Aqua delirium. Where did you guys, where did you guys that, go? I was looking at inventories. It, we're uh, up to the... Is aqua delirium... What does that do? Aqua Delirium is uh, for regaining spell slots. Yep. Oh, wow. Hey. So, Just in time. I think uh, Iceheart needs that yeah. the most. Yeah, right? I already have some. And I refuse to use Aqua unless it's life or death. All right. What's well, the we'll problem with that? Uh, it I, don't, I don't, I don't so like does, you. Oh, does it give you contamination? Yeah. I'll, oh, I'll take it because I can't be contaminated anyway. Okay, I'll put it in. Uh, I'll put it in Mud Pie's inventory. Okay, Oops, and that's an action to it. drink it. Uh, potions are a bonus action, and it's a okay. house rule that I believe I put in my house rules thing. I've done that one yeah, for okay. years. Yeah, um, didn't know if it was just for healing or not. Right. For healing, if you use an action, uh, you get the full effects. Okay. All right, and right. sorry, Aqua Delirium is that if you cast a spell, you roll a d20 on a one, you trigger a random arcane anomaly when you drink it, wow. and it lasts that effect, I think, lasts for one hour. Yeah, one hour. So, wow, you can get a lot back. Uh, bad things can happen with it, yeah, but it'll like most drugs, right? Chance. <laughs> Yes, a, but this is me, which means that's like a hundred percent chance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was gonna say <laughs> difference in the perception of luck between the two of you. All right, so it's a good thing to break glass in case of emergency. Good to know. Yeah, that's exactly right. what I have it there for. And I was reading the description. Did you guys go north or south? Yeah. Uh, so, went this way. 
to this junction and then south. Okay. We're getting one away tonight. Dead end, Darren? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's just a dead end where you are. Uh, and we it search it to make sure. Yeah. Okay. There's a light down here, but I want to go over here first. A light? Really? Yeah, there's a light down here. Over in the Frankenstein place. Yeah, yeah I let's... can start seeing that. What's going a, on? A uh, wrong turn due to the guards and ward spell, or a misguided search of the corridors and hallway might like. Light... Uh, well, why would they. This is stupid. What? Don't worry about it. It's just an empty room. <laughs> it's just dumb. Right. It's just like the they dis only description of the room, what I'm supposed to describe to you, describes a trap. So it's like, well, what? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm that throwing right. that out. Yeah. Yeah. We right. left. Ooh, we I left. see the light then. Walk into the light. Walk into right. the light. Do it, man. Uh, this area you that you're about to... Well, I mean, you just only see a drag, and that's all. All right. The area contains a barred jail with a small locked door. The walls and floors are caked with refuse and debris. The cell is filled with wriggling piles of flesh. The flesh has various eyes and mouths and occasional limbs or extremities protruding from them. As you approach the cell, the fleshy mounds begin to quiver in a chorus of sorrowful moans. Yeah, that's what I thought that was going to be. <laughs> quivering mouth there. Quivering? I like the quivering ones. Oh, gibbering. Sorry. <laughs> ah, they were doing something. Or if you're Billy, it's gibbering. <laughs> that's the Florida, the Florida pronunciation. Wow, look at that's that. That's the Florida pronunciation. <laughs> Sorry, these things bad. Oh boy. Uh, oh, a lot of them. I don't like them. This is not uh, good because I don't does? have good eggs. <laughs> Mud pie. Right. Um, I only see one creature. I don't know what else is around, so I will sacred flame that delirium. What is it? Delirium drag. Oh, sorry, that one. Right, that's a me job. I have to click a button. I succeed. Hmm. Well, that's very upsetting. Oh, um, so well. I don't have a good other option. Ending turn. Ice heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't get by all you people. <laughs> I am going to ready and uh, no, there's no ready in action, is there? Yes, there is. What are you talking about? Oh, good. I, I can never remember what system allows what. I'm ready in action. If anything uh, hostile ends up in that area, I'm going to attempt to firebolt it. All right. Ready in action in D&D &D does require concentration. All right. I will. Oh, thank you. You will put that on for me. And I will end turn. All right. Some moans. All right, this guy uh, hears you coming and goes and pulls the lever. Ah, hmm. uh, we had a chance. Then. All right. Uh... Go pull the lever. Is true. That's a hit. Just popping stuff out. Twelve points of damage. That's a crit. Okay. 
two more damage than you uh than you did before hey another second d4 i'm fishing for crits um and then uh okay let's be real Whatever lever he just pulled, I'd like to use my object interaction to pull it. Uh, okay. Liza. Let's see what we got going on in here. Um, I'm move a little bit to get out of everyone else's way. Hopefully they don't come and freaking swarm me because I did this. Famous last words. That's a hit. That's pretty decent damage. Don't see anything I can hide up behind, so I'm just going to hit. Mm, they're looking, is it dinner time? Is it dinner time? Must be dinner time. Mud pie. See what's up here. Kill this guy. Where's that drink again? I shall sacred flame it. I will fail. And you will take damage. Oh. <sighs> if I was only level 8, I could use Blessed Strikes and it probably would have killed it. Alright. I'm going to come back around this corner. And try to... Ice hard. I think Oops. you may have made it so I can't actually get to see anything. Oh, no, I can make it to there. There you go. What are you guys shooting at? Oh, there he is. Yeah. I couldn't see him. He was hiding. <clears throat> I open this gate again if he gets a turn. That's a hit. Oh, wow. Okay. Big damage. You, you. Oh. Poor drag. <laughs> All right. Hasty's could do. Okay. Uh, why oh, wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right. You know, they're going to actually start spitting through the bars now. Now that you've, uh, you know. So, Kapatui, you have to make a deck save. <laughs> You're nice. fine. Uh, This one is going to, uh, it's only going to be able to spit on Liza. So I will do the blinding spittle, but I won't bother placing it. It's a five foot radius, but it'll and only hit Liza. He's, he's not targeting me though, right? It's an a a AOE. It's an AOE. Yep. Excellent. So, uh, And I believe it's just blindness, is it not? Blinding flash of light. How long does the blinding last for? Blind until the end of the Malthus next turn. Right. So. I can't say. You can? Can't, he said. Oh. He's letting, he's playing his character. Oh. Uh, I'm going to spit. Actually, how far can I spit? I think I can only fit 15 feet. Yeah. Uh, so. The way the wind's blowing. I'll be able to hit Iceheart. Oh, okay. Because <clears throat> it goes 15 feet and then it splashes it's by. 20 feet, feet, yeah. 
Oh, I'm sorry. There was a... A dexterity saving throw. Yep. I see that now. I'll That's just, it. you know, stuff her. Goo gets in your eyes. This one is going to uh, try to spit on Zens. Hmm. You're fine. Zens, now that you're close enough, this is, uh, they're, they're making lots of noise. So, uh, you'll have to make a wisdom save. Okay. Big money. You're fine. No whammies. Yeah. Um, okay, I am going to move up here. Ask Liza for consent to pick her up. Who? What? Yeah. Can I? Okay. <laughs> and then moving her and I down here. Uh, how 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 do you get so much movement? Uh, I I messed it up before. Can you reset my move and move? So I'll back start in here. I, I will yeah. reset your move. You have Thanks. to go to her, use an action, and then you're going to be at difficult terrain after after grabbing her right. Yeah. So I guess yeah, so I guess you have enough move. Yeah, that was ten, and then yeah, and then you'll like okay. put her to here. Okay. Okay. Uh, lies as far enough away that she, the gibbering isn't bothering her. Okay. Um, well, Liza, so I'm looking at where my character is, and, and in my imagination, I don't think I would have known that he moved me that far. I would have figured he'd moved me about 10 feet. So I'm going to pull out my my handgun and fire it into the, into the wall, thinking that's the direction towards the nearest. Which way are you firing? Point. East? <laughs> no, like north, like northeast. Okay, boom. So <laughs> that's the end of her turn. Does she get not blinded? Nah, it's at the beginning of the gibbering mother's next turn. Okay. Uh, Mud pie, are you actually close enough to the gibbering to affect you? Yes, you are. So all that noise now that you're uh, you're gonna have to. Have to make Good a wisdom, wisdom save. save. Oh, hold on. Where am I in relation to Zens? Okay. What do you have? It's uh, plus three. Three, yeah. Yeah. No ones. All right. There. You're not being. You're not affected. Um. Are they locked in the gates or yeah. whatever? They yeah. Are? Yes. Be sure to leave them. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. For those poor unfortunate idea. souls. Did... That is a mess that I do not that will come. Yeah, we don't need to it looks like that's like a prison or I mean, something listen, farm. If we had the fireballs to take care of it, I would say Yeah. Let's go for it. But hmm. I played a ice cleric or a light cleric in Doom Forgotten Realms. I I missed that Radiance of the Dawn. Best Best channel yeah, yeah. divinity ever. So, are you doing anything else? Nope, that's it. I'm disengaging and exiting combat unless um, there's a reason. So, today. Zen's was nicer than the cleric. Did you notice that? I did. <laughs> Absolutely did. <laughs> All right. Blind Iceheart will now have to make a uh, wisdom oh. saving throw. <laughs> Oh, and she's so sorry. Out. She can still get sped on too. You're fine. Uh, I'm going to stumble back a little bit. That's about as far as I feel comfortable moving. So, well, no, you're you're in somebody's square. Is that you just touched oh. vampire ass? Uh, which way do I need to get cleared? Am I cleared now? No. No. Now you're stepping on Liza. <laughs> What was going to get me? There you go. Uh, there, you go. there you go. All right. I will end the combat. You guys managed to get oh. away. I just thought that was pretty funny that uh, yeah. Zen's helped out Liza and Mud Pie's like, see ya! <laughs> yeah. She was worried. I, I, I guess I wasn't too attentive. All right. All right. So the color was a bad indicator of where we want to be going.
what is uh, on the ground here, Darren? Is this still? Uh, yeah, it's starting to become water. Water. Okay. How deep is it? Can you cross? Oh, just typical terrain. And does it look like a delirium water? Oh, of course. I mean, okay. it's it's definitely delirium water. It okay. does look like difficult terrain. What? Sorry. What? The water. The water is, is difficult, difficult terrain. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, one Ooh. sec. Season check coming on. Oh, I didn't mute, did I? I thought I muted. Sorry about that. You muted. I did? Oh, good. I heard <laughs> no like... All right, so what do you see there? Probably something pretty disgusting. I only see Oh, we don't have to yet? Okay, move on closer then, please. Oh, okay. Now, this small All alcove right. is covered in various bones, skeletons, bits of old meat, and blood-soaked scraps of clothing. There's also a uh, rather large something there that's, uh, well chowing down on something <laughs> uh do i have a description of this horrible creature it um, really is horrible her name is lisa hi lisa i thought i had a uh there lisa uh, oh no no other than what you see I, I thought i had a better description but i do not Anyway, Lisa's quite happy that more food just came in. I'm so happy she's friendly. Why don't I have Zen's I twice? Five. What? Okay. What is it with these am, fucking five initiatives? I don't know why Zen was in twice, but okay. Oh, I took the 18. Thank you, Darren. the best initiative I've rolled in like 30 sessions. I'm up there with you. I, this I game session, I've been rolling great for initiative. I don't think I've rolled above a six in like two <laughs> sessions. I think you need to switch dice with me. I think that's what happened. All right, Mud Pie, you're first. It doesn't have any sort of aura, unfortunately, which makes me sad. Um, well, anything that big can't possibly have a good dexterity saving throw, so I will Sacred Flame. Sacred flame. I'm fine. Wow. Uh, I think I'm this going is the to. Hey, what? Sorry. Take us to what? To regens, I think. This is the same as the one that crawled out of the pit. If it's the same as the one that crawled out of the pit. Oh, that thing is huge and scary. Huh. Well, that's uh, surprising. Um, I presume that's touch range. Yep. Shocking grass. Well, it doesn't have metal. So we don't have advantage. And that's a uh, miss. I'm going to use my inspiration right now on that. Okay. And I will delete and just reroll. Oh, I guess I could just attack. Oops, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could have. I... Sorry. That's also a miss. I'm glad you used your inspiration early. Good thing there's uh -huh. only three and a half hours left. I am going to walk away from it. All right. Depending on how far you go, uh, well, whether it decides where I get attack of opportunity or not. Well, I'll be going around a corner, so I will be exiting her reach. Okay. Well, then I will, uh, yeah. I will totally use my club on you. Uh, that's it. nine. Oh, that was oh thank you for damage. the dice roll, though. Itty bitty damage. Yeah. Okay. I I tried. I really did. That's why I was using shock and grass because I came around the corner. I'm like, I don't want to be there. <laughs> uh, how far down is this, Darren? Down? It's just water. Right. Oh, it's water. Okay. Come on in. The water's fine. <sighs> Uh, Shield of Faith. All right. And, uh, I'm surprised you didn't. It, where's your concentration? Oh, it is. Okay. It is. And it, I'll put that on. There we go. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, that's a miss. There's a crit. I wish I could say that made up for it, but I was supposed to say, and now we don't even have a clue what it takes to hit the person. <laughs> Yeah, okay. He only has about 150 hit points. All right. Well, Lisa is going to regenerate. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. We fought one of these when it came out of the pit at well, the crater. It was attracted instead of added. That was not what was supposed to happen. Mm, how is it against fire? I don't recall. There was something we needed to do. Wiser should remember. Uh, yeah. Chill touch will keep it from regenerating for a turn. There's a concentration check for you. Ugh. That's a success. Another concentration check. Jeez, how many freaking attacks? Uh oh. Yeah. Are you using any effect or. Sure, any... Burn, burn the inspiration. Burn the inspiration early? Yeah. All right. Liza. All right. Liza's jumping in the water. Okay. Um, uh, I and... believe it's a con save. Or is it just an automatic one for infected water? I can't remember anymore. I think it's a con save, but I took I took my shot, so I got three of them. Yeah, I um, think it's a con save as well. So uh, go ahead with your Constitution saving throw. Which I'm gonna fail. That's it, fail. Like, yeah, so that's one off my um, one okay. use off my shot. Okay, it is difficult um, terrain in there, obviously. Okay, Liza is so that's five. 15, 25. I think she can move like maybe there uh, a little bit more. Uh, she's going to ready an action. And she's going to use hypnotic gaze after Zen's turn. Uh, ready a uh, concentration action. Okay. Mud pie. Hey. Well, I'm going to try and disable this guy and the guy you next to on Zen. Okay. Uh, I will step in the water as well. Uh, you're immune to contamination, so you could drink this stuff if yep. you want. All righty. I will pass on that. I will pull out my scroll of bestow curse okay. and use it on him. It's still a saving throw. I'm yeah. fine. Excellent fair. All right. Ice heart. Oh. You guys like didn't want me to tag. Well, I was going to make it so it loses its turn all the time. Yes, spell. Okay. Intelligent saving throw. Tell me that thing is not smart. Throw. I failed, right. which I believe I can only do in action now or whatever. Uh, yeah. Oops. 10 yeah. points of damage, and I can only. And I believe it has no reactions as well right now. Yeah, no reactions. I can either move or bonus action or action. Yeah. Well, I tried to slow it down for a round. Good luck. <clears throat> now, the action can be a multi attack attached as Mind Whip, right? Not like Slow yep. Spell. Uh, That's a miss. Is that a action? Then I believe the answer is yes. Also a miss. Yeah, I believe uh, Eliza's ready to action is going to go. Yes, she's going to hit him with hypnotic gaze. Hypnotic gaze. Uh oh. Yes. So he's incapacitated. Uh, wait, I should double check to make sure it can be. Uh, yep. Char charmed and incapacitated. I just put charm. Oh, it's incapacitated. Okay. Well, he's incapacitated while he's charmed. Okay. Um. So that was basically to steal. Well, let me know when his turn's over. Uh, the creature's incapacitated. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
All right, that was basically to steal his action. I assume we want to, like, attack him and kill him, guys. So I'm going to swim over here. I'll take Nimble Escape, but I don't need to. And I'll go ahead and hit him with Chill Touch. Yeah. Need to stop that regen. Oh, I should have regenerated. You're right. Thank you. Uh, there's no reason why I wouldn't have regenerated, so I will regenerate before the attack. Uh, that's a hit. I'm assuming you're targeting that guy. Yep. And um, I'm sorry, I didn't target him. That's okay. Right. There's only one enemy. You're still regenerating? Or you Already regenerated, so go ahead. You took 10 damage, 10 hit points come back. This is real easy so far. Ooh. Hey. Uh, 16 points, and he cannot, I will mark him as he cannot regenerate next turn. He's, he's no longer incapacitated. And or he is charmed. no longer incapacitated or charmed. Got it. Um, although he still can't use a reaction, I don't think. Not until Ice Fart's turn, I believe, or who knows? I'm not sure. Okay. So I will move over here, not worrying about an attack of opportunity. And I will cast. I have to be it can take its reactions. Here. It can. Turn is okay. By. Oh, whoops. Don't worry. Okay. You haven't left this threat range yet. <laughs> so that's disturbing. <laughs> um, where did that damn spell go? I'm looking for the one. There's a filter. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this one, yes. Let me make sure. Okay, that's the one. Aura of Vitality. I haven't seen anyone cast that one for a long time. Yes, so that's third level spell. So it's two. Do I get to heal right away? Uh, yeah, know. and I'll use my bonus action to heal Zance. Okay. Sends that much. You may want to pop that out for the healing button. Thank you. I'll enter. Oh, it's hard. I can see a bit of it, so can you put a bunch of cover on it? Uh, sure. I, I don't place cover, I just look at your attack rolling. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> I just said there, yeah, you know. there's lots of cover. Uh, that misses because of cover. All right. Um, if I tuck behind, can it, presuming, uh, this is a rule question. Does cover prevent attacks of opportunity? Depending. Which okay, means well, I'm the, trying to tuck back into that corner. <laughs> You're fine where you are. Okay. I usually do that, then, like around doors and stuff like that. Okay. I usually say that it, it stops tax of opportunity. Nice. Then Chris. How many spent up Ben? Okay. He either oh, misses or rolls your... twenties. That is it. <laughs> Don't you wish you had your device, mates? I do. In fact, have smite. Sorry. Smites. One back on good, good uh, save. Yeah, well, I, I didn't want to, but I only have one level one now, so mm. yeah. yeah, yeah, I thought you're out. Attack. Nice, we got the uh, the short rest, so I harnessed my power. Mm. Didn't you oh, only a miss course. or 20? That's all you get. Mm -hmm. All right, Lisa does not heal. I'll make that mark off. And uh, let me just check her stats for a minute. Uh, okay, she's actually smart enough. You're bleeding. Hmm. No, I think I'll attack Zeds. I missed. Yes. I'm fine then. I'll turn in uh, with my other attack. I'm going to attack lots of I want at least a nice one easy hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit, uh, not a, I'm gonna use my reaction to try to force her to attack Zans instead of me. Uh, okay. Instinctive charm. So it's a DC 16 wisdom save. And if she fails, 
I failed, so I hit Zen's instead. Got it. Sorry. I meant to say that before she attacked. Ooh, that good was damage. terrible damage. <laughs> There's still a concentration check. That would have been like a third of my hit points. <laughs> oh, oh, and no more inspirations oh for you. And your very important hit points. Liza. Yeah, you got to keep that up. <laughs> that's, uh, what's my armor class? That's a miss. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna use, no, I'm not gonna use inspiration. Mud pie. Well, bonus action healing on sense. Uh, Liza uses a reaction to attack chill touch on Zen, so he stops the healing. <laughs> <laughs> no? Well, that's for sense, and then I'll action disengage. And come back to safety here. Okay. Nice heart. Back around the corner so I can just see him. Which means I'm probably going to miss horribly. Well, if that's the case, I don't know if this will affect it, but I'll try. Because that is a saving throw. Infestation. Uh, I succeed okay. as a camper, so I took, take no damage. And then I will tuck back into my little corner. Zens. I like this uh, one enemy thing. It's very refreshing from <laughs> last week. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hit. Also a hit. Okay. Okay, it heals. There was no way to stop it from last time. But I think I do need to take care of Liza. Are, are you going to use a reaction to force me to hit Zens? Uh, not on your first attack, but yes on your second attack, if I haven't already used my reaction. Oh, I hit on a shield. nine. I'm going to shield that one. Oh, you're going to shield that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I won't and attack you for my second now, attack. Now I don't have an, a, a reaction for my That's second right. attack. That's right. But I am going to... Uh, did I already roll the attack? No, that was the damage. Because you shield. Right. That was good damage. That was a lot. Liza, those precious, precious spell slots go on a reaction. Love it. That was my first level slot, too. That's a hit. I'd be better if it was a second level shield spell. Those are better. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to hurry up and take this thing down. <laughs> I'm sorry, my turn. Mud pie. Hoping this isn't in range. Uh, bonus action healing on sense. Okay. We got a battle of attrition here. Yeah. And yeah, told the dead on the creature. Told the dead. What a pretty strong wisdom. I fail. Give me the versatile. Oh, he has a. Pretty strong everything, I think. Yeah. Nope. He has a bad intelligence. Well, it's not bad. It's just not. Just zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's average. Six on 2d12. D12s are famous for rolling low. I hate Better. rolling D D d12. Yeah, me too. I never do well with it. I don't want to be here. I really don't want to be here. Good news. You don't really have any cover on it anymore. Because you went. Yeah, you that's why I came out. Because <laughs> I, I need to actually be contributing to the damage. Not with that. Oh, 
Good job. Glad I'm here. <laughs> I will pretend that I can hide behind Zens. <laughs> All right, Zens. Okay. Got to hit. That's a miss. Okay. All right, she does not regenerate. Uh, all right, she's Let's going to swing at Liza. Is that okay? I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm not going to use it on the first one. I will use it if she attacks me a second time, though. I missed. I'm going to attack you the second time. I fail. I uh, who do who do you say you wanted to attack? Iceheart. It's not up to me. It's ever close. It, it's who's ever closest to her. So she's got to. Oh, okay. And then... I think. There's a hit. Sorry, Zens, but I figure you're getting healing every turn. And... <laughs> yeah, we need you to keep. It won't die unless you chill touch yeah. it yeah. before we kill it. So we definitely need you up. This is what I'm remembering from Pit Fight. That's a hit. Mud Pie. Bonus action. Healing. Okay. And Sacred Flame on. Sacred sure. Flame. I failed. Yay. D8s always roll better than D12s. They do. Every time. <laughs> Ice Heart. All right. I tuck there to get a case. nice clean shot at it. And I pretend I can roll the die. Have you contributed yet tonight? Uh, don't think so. I should have the whip landed. Oh, oh yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> I I you I move there. <laughs> Sense. Come well, on, let's take this guy out. That's a hit. That's a uh -huh. miss. We we have been rolling very poorly. All we right, Liza does not heal. Got to kill the person that's stopping me from healing. Same I'm... as it was in the last time, not the first shot, but yes, in the second shot, if I still have a reaction. Well, I hit you in the first shot. Is there any sort of shield? Huh? Yes. Excellent. Use up those spell slots. Nice. It was the second one too. That hurts. And I'm going to attack Mud Pie instead. I can reach him from here. Yes. We oh, can. I missed. Liza. Can't. I'll die. That's a hit. Yeah. I have a Two feeling eights. Lisa's days are numbered. In fact. Lisa. Beating time is over. Uh, how much and did your vitality get? You uh, enough rounds? to heal everyone. It's like okay. uh, 2d6 plus 6 every round for Good the enough. next 8 rounds or whatever. Everyone's healed. Thank you. That's such a great spell. Oh, that's kid. Any, any like treasure in here? Uh, do you like Lisa snacks? <laughs> on the dead body. Uh, no. So now it's just the water, huh? And the trap door. And I think we, I think we do the water first, obviously. Yeah. So let me do since it's difficult terrain. I can just walk down the wall. I don't. I'm fine. Oh, okay. So who wants mobility? I have a scroll of freedom of movement, and I feel like using it. Give it to Liza. Well, let's, uh, but do I have to do another check to walk through that water, or is it my last check walking through the water to the north? It could work no. for like an hour. Um, oh, yeah. 
the first contamination in water is immediate and then after that it is every hour you're absolutely right okay so i can walk through that. i mean I, I i'm good I, I i don't i don't think i need the that all right i'll hold on to it okay i'm walking down either the ceiling or the wall i thought you were just, i thought you're immune to contamination I am. I am. I'm just not in the difficult it. terrain. Oh, okay. Okay, a cave-in at the entrance makes this room very hard to get to. Uh, however, this room is the most important room for the... Why is it telling me that? Like, seriously. <laughs> anyway, covered floor to ceiling and dripping and oozing, uh, an oozing delirium sludge and cake with the thousands of insect-looking eggs. This room seems to resemble a sort of nest. Hanging from the ceiling is a large, fleshy, cocoon-like sack, pulsating gently with a sort of a heartbeat. Do you want to go up there and cut it down? That might be the guy we're after. How high up is it? Oh, yeah, you can reach it. I'm going to swim over here before he cuts it down. Oh, okay. I don't know how high the roof is, but uh, I will fly up and cut it down. All right, destroying the nest. The pale man is inside in a, in a pile of bugs trying to regenerate like a vampire. You can, can we... easily destroy fireball, the fireball, nest. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Destroy the nest <laughs> and destroy the pale man. Yes. All right. Yeah, the cocoon has 100 hit points, AC 12, and vulnerable to fire. Um, <laughs> uh, fireball, fireball. No other, no other danger in the room, apparently. No, there's no way. I mean, the, the delirium sludge is not cool. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, well, uh, ice heart going in the water does have to. I'm not in the water. I'm flying. Oh, look at you, smart. Ah. I, I'm glad we don't have to spend like, any more resources. Let's um, go find I mean, a long rest. You two, can you search well, that to make sure there's nothing? No, his research is not here. Okay. Yeah. The research is it was anything? Here. No, this is just where yeah. he regenerates. His disgusting okay. bug room. You, you want his, uh, you know, <laughs> right. so his uh, research room. Everything. Yeah. Well, now you should go clear out those skivering mothers, right, guys? Uh, yeah, hey. let's not do that. Because <laughs> now I literally have cantrips. That's it. Okay, where does that go up to again? Uh, that goes up to... Um... I think it was the drawing room. Maybe I'm wrong. Sorry, I'll take a look here. Um, which fly? I wish there was a fly spell that had longer duration, even if it was a bit slower. Is that one of your abilities or that regular fly spell? That's the fly spell. That's one of the ones I know. Oh, cool. I didn't even well, know you took Oh, it's in the stables. Yeah. That goes up into the stables. Oh, we peek. Yeah. It's the stables. Nope, I don't think we need to go there. Let's go back up the way we came. Back to the house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will. Woohoo! All right. So you uh, can go least... up this steps, or you can go up into the foyer. The oh, Actually, I believe there's the room a, in the foyer was wizard locked, if I recall. The one yeah. there's there was two doors on both sides of the foyer. The one that the pale man came through was arcane locked. The this other was a was secret locked. door, though, right? Yes, that was a secret yeah. door that uh, goes secret up doors. to yeah. the upper yeah. level. So yeah. that one, we the, will uh, do that. Secret door. All right, I will cram you guys into this place. Like on top of each other, pretty much. I don't really have much choice. <laughs> that's fine. Has ten minutes elapsed since I cast fly? Mm, I'm gonna say no. Okay. I know it's gotta be getting close. I'm flying like one feet up. Uh, I'm expecting it to fail shortly. Oh, oh over. Should look for secret door. Oh, oh, there's a door there. Never mind. Uh, <clears throat> this is a uh bedroom this is the master bedroom lined with shelves of books scrolls folders documents and scattered parchments this room appears to function as a library as well several bookshelves house glass jars with floating objects inside like a jar of eyeballs a severed hand an entire human head with one side of it dissolved and melted 
several fleshy tentacles, and many other horrors. An old dust-covered bed in the corner appears unused. wonder where he sleeps. Uh, the desk is covered in various jars of octarine substances, as well as an old book bound in red leather, and a quill and inkwill of glowing octarine ink. Oh, loot the place. <laughs> That's what that sounded oh. like. Oh. Loot the place. Uh, among the bookshelves, there are... Let me see. Oops. A healing potion. That's uh, Zen's healing I potion. Add it to my my amount. Yeah, just up your amount. You find yeah. two uh, spell scrolls on common. Where's my scroll uh, book here? Scroll generator. Scroll generator. Uncommon is level two and three, or three and four. Uh, two and three, because I believe zero and one are common. I will confirm that, but I'm like ninety percent certain. Bell rarity, uh, uncommon, not the thing, not the page I'm looking for. Um, <coughs> come on, load. Uh, uncommon starts at sec second and third. Uncommon. Second and third, yeah. Okay, I, I just got it myself too, so. Yeah. Second and third. third All right. The I'll put it in the party stash, I guess. Uh, Please do. Party inventory. The first one is locate object. Um, get that would be place. convenient to find his hidden stash of information we need. It would I think be. we already had that spell in there, too, though. Do you? Oh, it's locate creature. Never mind. Locate object in there, and the second one is gaseous form. Ooh. So I'll put that in there. There we go. Two spell scrolls. Uh, what else is in this place? A red book. Uh, the spell book on the desk contains a pale man's work on the spells he has created. Ah, that's what we're looking for. That's exactly what you're looking for. All right. So with the research, I will copy paste your this research into chat for you. So that's why he defected. The Archmages are basically assholes, so I won't share. You watch this, how he looks at it. And those spells, by the way, those are those are definitely what those are um delirium spells. Those are definitely spells that Liza wants. Okay. Can I like automatically add them to my book when I get high enough level? Yes. Maybe, are any of them cleric spells I could learn too? From Liza? Cleric spells? I don't know if it works that way. I don't know if there's spellcaster. Yeah, there these ones cleric. are you know, I don't think clerics can learn spells through spell books. Pretty certain. I mean, you can't. I don't think so. Uh also you learn uh I thought there was all those spells where any class could learn. You just had to figure out how. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Let me take a look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at a player guide thingy. Delirium Blast. Magic spells. Magic spells. A Bard, Sorcerer, Wizard, Warlock spell. So, not that one. Oop. Delirium Orb. Ditto. Forced Evolution. Ditto. Conjure the Deep Haze is a, yep, a druid. <laughs> and the wizard ones. Purge Contamination, I'm pretty sure, is all of them. But I believe you have Purge Contamination already, do you not? 
I do not. Oh, you should. Okay. I definitely should. Uh, Ray of Contamination is a <laughs> also druid. So weird. And a Warp Bolt. Yeah. So the only one that uh, you could get, which uh, is the Remove Contamination, Purge Contamination. Okay. No, I, I don't think Clarice can learn Arcane spells. Well, it's those special spells for the campaign. But they have tags on them, don't they? Yeah. Um, so the, yeah, they, don't have, tag, they don't have cleric tag on them, then, you, then that's not a that's right. yeah, that's what we just special went campaign spell. Yeah, but like the purge contamination should is be both available. divine and. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's in my. Oh, I guess it just comes automatically with the mod. It does, yeah. Okay. For all clerics, I think. I just don't think there is as many. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you find in the bedroom. You found what you're looking for. All right. Do you guys want to head out, or do you want to keep ransacking? I mean, I didn't kill eight, no 8,000 drags just to head out without looting the entire place top to bottom. All right. <laughs> we can loot. Okay. Uh, as you step inside, you see a mess of paperwork, tables, and several drawings stuck on the wall with red string connecting various sketches to locations in Drakenheim. Uh, a large red circle on a map of the city indicates a focus on the inscrutable tower. Uh, search. Yeah, studying this place, it is basically, this is just, he has plans, or had a plan, before he killed him, about how to seize the inscrutable tower for himself. I put some notes in there. Which one's the inscrutable tower? That's, that's where the mages want. That's what I want. I'll be honest. I want that tower. Yeah, so does Zen's. For for the academy. Oh, okay. I'm like, hmm, that could be a problem. <laughs> I'm avoiding stepping on all that stuff in the center. Guys, which door do you want to do next? I don't know. So far, they've turned out really well. Let's continue in the direction. Whoops, oh. we're going. I didn't mean to actually open that. I was way too far away. Oh, that's right? fine. There's nobody in there. Just gives us another door and those other stairs. Um, and looks like probably more leads to that. Search. Those stairs go down to. Uh, there's an area where I have no description of this area, but that steps go down, okay. back down to the first is this, floor. Is that the one that okay, so this area has got some dredges in it. What? We left some. Oh, I'm glad that we found them. They were asleep. They didn't come down. Maybe they're uh, non-willing dredges. Wow. Yeah, they're union dredges, and it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't in the contract, so it they didn't have to the come. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know why it rolled my initiative twice again, dear. Did I do something wrong? I added you to nope. initiative. Did you also add yourself to initiative? <laughs> no, I just clicked the initiative button. I, I don't know how to All do right. that. I'll remove it. So far, this one doesn't know anything. Mud pie. Hey. A little sacred flame. Sacred flame. Poof, poof. I'm going to take some damage. I'm going to take up a, a lot wow. of damage. Uh, that's impressive. <laughs> the most, the most damage that sacred flame has done. It ever in the but, history of D and D. Yes. Glad you didn't cast all the dead. <laughs> 11 points of damage, and that's killed him. Come on now. That's a miss. Okay. That one wouldn't have hurt anything yet. That one would. Come one, come all. 
Um, yeah, these guys don't even scare me anymore. There's only like six or seven of them. This is small potatoes. Every time I say that, I get taught a lesson, you know? I sorry. <laughs> I'm presuming after all that searching, the uh, spell is done. Yeah, yeah, you have no more flight. Yeah, yeah. you're absolutely right. No more flight. All right. Uh, all the cover in the world. That's still a hit. One day I'll get average damage. <laughs> you know, it's got a lot of hit points. No, I just roll poorly. <laughs> oh, because it. Oh, okay. Why is that? This turn. I made roughly 20 points. No more goblins jumping on the bed. Green flame blade on that one there. Okay. That's a miss. I didn't know it was uh, possible. Engage. You sure you have plate mail on? Yeah. Plate mail of weapon catching. Yeah, magnetic plate mail. But by that's more like my role. Radiance. Radiance. Yeah. A pair of twos. Ooh. Excellent save. Sends. Dealer's choice. Hit. Okay. Hit uh, the wrong button. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to do the damage part. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Miss. Okay. What's the point of having plus eight on your attack, you eh? know? I have no idea. <sighs> There's a miss. Nice miss on a 20. Yeah. These guys get one attack each or two attacks each? Ice heart. One. One. Fire bolt. Thought you were going to do a thunder wave. I have no spell slots. <laughs> this is the best I have. Okay. That's a hit. Two tens. That. A ten. Who do you think was rolling dice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I got average. That's I was good for to me. Manifest. Average eleven. Oh. Liza. Yeah, you got At the plus one. Liza always has a spare spell spell slot, like always. <laughs> and she will uh, green flame blade on the one to the northeast. I have a couple spell slots left. Yes. Yep. That's a hit. Yeah, it's dead. Okay. Uh, green flame blade damage on the one to the north of that one. Okay. And that one. Mm. The 
Let's see how much movement I have left. Well, I'm going to use a reaction. You're moving away from me, so. Well, I'm going to take Nimble Escape. I will see how much movement I have left. I still have a bonus action. Yeah, I'm going to go right. I'm trying to get see, I know you're trying to get past 30. It won't let you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm trying to get this up where I can go. All right, that's where I'm going. <clears throat> Okay. Now that we've taken out the den of these, maybe we won't keep running into them in the street. Well, we at least took out the guy that was creating them. Yeah, now that their master's gone. Mud pie. Okay. Switched off the faucet. You're gonna get three of them this time. Yes, going for the big damage now. Okay. Good save. Good save. Good save. Nice. Oh my! I God. knew it. I knew it. <laughs> that funny. <laughs> Okay. That's a hit. Your minimum damage will kill him. Yep. That's a hit, and your minimum damage will kill him. <laughs> okay. Uh... I got that one if you want to get the other one through the room. Is that what you meant? You got this one? No, I meant I got the one you were going towards, but don't worry about it. Yeah, just you, you take the one since, uh, and I'll take the three with All right. 60, 66 health. That's a miss. Actually, from a real jerk, I'd put him right about there. <laughs> but I won't do that. <laughs> why was that? Why was that? Uh, why is that? A, why is that a terrible thing to put it there? Target him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um the uh, um. All right. I'm using boom and blade on that one. No, you're not. It's I your turn. turn. I'm sorry. My, turn. My bad. That's a hit. Ah, oh, wow. Is. I really want to protect the cleric. <laughs> Eliza. Actually, now I'm going to go with the uh, green flame blade on the one to the south of my pie. Okay. I think I see what you're trying to do. That's a hit. All right. Um, Here you go. And versatile damage on the one that's nearly dead. Yep. To his... Nearly dead. Now completely dead. Um, nimble escape as a bonus action, and I am just going to move over here. You're like a little ninja. Oh, little green boy. ninja. Miss. All right. I'm going to toll that one. Here comes the D12s. Yes. Oh, wow. Hey, look Ooh, at that. Oh. Ooh, that's uh, impressive. Very. Most I've ever seen. I wonder, with, with Toll the Dead, if they're injured, can you choose to roll the eight instead? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking about that. <laughs> I wonder what it says. What? That's it.
Another hit. Oh, come on. No, you don't have a choice. You have to do the D12s. <laughs> well, now you know how many hit points they have, right? Yep. Uh-oh, here it comes. <gasps> Are you going to use a shield? No. I'm not sure. <laughs> nice heart. All right. Let's try this again. That's a hit. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Total yeah, damage. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I assumed the 19 was a yeah. hit. There. Let Lysa finish off that one. All right. Uh, booming blade on this one to my southwest. Yeah, that's a hit. For damage, which kills him. And everyone knows we're here. Um, Billy, I think he's I think like did. the last people well, involved with one. I am sort of amazed that these guys didn't come downstairs on us. Uh, the DM didn't want to use two groups of people on two different maps. Really, the uh, game right. didn't really allow me to do that. All right, you had a hit point left. I know, but now I want to do it. I want to see what I get. Right. So, sound can't go through different um, floors. Yeah, battles can can't go through different maps on Foundry. Can we pilfer the rest of the house? Uh, no. Okay. We pilfer this room. That yeah, I those rooms don't in. have anything really. Uh, some dress up in fine clothing and remains, or play with children's toys. Yeah, they were they were just playing with toys. I'm pretty sure this goes to the stairs, but. Uh... Oh, no, this is really? the blue. Toilet. Yeah, I, I don't need to go in there. You guys ready for What's kind of gross is that the dregs need to use a toilet. Like, what happens with that? Well, uh, when the dregs moved in, why would they remove the toilet? Okay, so that's downstairs. Do we check everything here? No, there's one more area. The same thing on the other side. So is this the... Um... Is oh, this the yeah. area that Arcane Lock Baron? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is the locked door. So is this wanna... Arcane... There's a door here, too. You guys want to come around? Yeah. I don't know. I can't paint. All right, so that one down there is locked. I assume that's Arcane Locked like the other one. There we are. Like the other one. There is only one door that is Arcane Locked, and that is it. Oh. And there it is. Oh. Yeah, look at you. All right, I'm going to open this one now. Like a storage room. Okay. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> this is yeah. the lab. Uh, well, these adjacent rooms have been stripped of their previous furniture and refashioned to laboratories. Uh, there are various forms of equipment here. A table in the back has a strange hammer. Crafted from delirium and a crate of shards and crystals that are seemingly been smashed into dust. They're all chemical supplies and filtering devices that are used to refine the dust at another station. A third station has herbs and chemical formulas and measured equipment for concocting arcane delirium, uh, arcane delirium dust as well as various delirium infused potions. It's, it looks as though another station is for procuring delirium ink for spell scrolls and other uses. And uh, these guys are working with chemicals. We'll see how well this goes. <laughs> I am staying far away. Got it. Uh, 
I'm still struggling with initiative, but I'm moving up. There's that normal initiative. That's the, <laughs> that's the regular one. What by? Just enough to see something. Sacred Flame on the southmost one. Southwest. Okay. And they turn. All right. This one grabs, goes over here, grabs a bottle and throws it about here. It explodes. Mud Pie and Zens have to make constitution saving throws. I don't like this. Well, if it's delirium, hopefully it's no big deal for us. Uh, yeah, hopefully. One succeed uh, with I, fail. Uh, you, I rolled a, I rolled an ability check. Okay. So you both succeeded, uh, uh, but yes, it is delirium. So you would have gotten contamination if you needed it, but it is also necrotic damage, which I believe you guys are resistant to, right? Yes. Uh, yes. So it is. 86 but only a quarter goes to you guys so a minute and a half uh oh i wish i could do it with oh whatever i'll just do it this way seven seven damage to both of you hmm. oh, you'll that's that scary way. that could have been a lot worse Oops. Ice heart. Do you have fireball? Is that no, a lot is, of fun? Is that delirium equipment? Yep. Right there. Oh, no. I'm targeting it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> uh, Eighteen because uh, of the cover. Uh, all right, so that blasts in a 20-foot radius. Oh, that was a lot bigger than I thought. Boom! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was basing it on the last one, maybe a little bit bigger. But um, sorry, Zend, I will... Um, the the you Constitution you saving throw. I'm fine. Which one? Constitution. Constitution. Coming right up. Okay, you're fine. Again, you're going to take the... Uh, as necrotic damage. Hopefully this doesn't set off secondary oh, explosions. Uh, oh, so oh, 34, uh, 17, 8 points of damage to you, which I will apply. But for everybody else, um, explode. <laughs> oh, that worked. <laughs> Liza. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, wait. No, uh, no, sorry. Go back to... Yeah, sorry, I was but, just moving. And yeah, because I, I deleted everybody. It, it screwed up yeah. the combat tracker, that's all. All right, there you go. Now I have a dude who's stepping up. And this is Liza. Uh, that's what Fire Dodge like. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. <laughs> I'm using instinctive charm on this one if it tries to attack me. Uh, it is trying to attack you. All right. Why are you and in that room? <laughs> he'll have to attack the next closest and it. Next closest creature, if he fails. Which I fail. I will nice. attack that guy instead. Misses. Zend, you do get a turn. Oh, my God.
That's a hit. Uh, I'm going to use my last spell slot for... Hey, man. That's amazing. That for that. <laughs> Nobody could say it wasn't worth it. <laughs> That's a hit. And it's dead. Round two. We'd have to get rid of the uh, gibbering mouth. Flaming there. one self descent. Flaming. Damage. Nine points. Still Anything else? Matthew? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had a turn. My bad. Nice heart. Pew, pew, laser. I always caught up at Iceheart's lust for power. Lust for that's a hit. I'm not lusting for power, I'm lusting for <laughs> property. Oh yeah. I thought it was as impressive as the last one that went off. <laughs> Alright. Uh hypnotic gaze on the one I have targeted. Okay. Alright, he made it. And that's my dodge is over. And I'm going to use Instinctive Charm if either of those try to attack me. Well, the first one that tries to attack me. Well, of course he's trying to attack you. Is that infinite times you can do that? That's amazing. Well, react to it every time, yes. But wow. I can. And it's only one attack, so if they got multi-attack, you know, using shield might be better. Right. Is that a, I must be an enchanter wizard? Yes. Cool. They have a great temp level too. That's the twin spell one, right? Yeah. Yes. It's really good. And the good. second level feature is unlimited as well, the hypnotic gaze. Yeah, it's a great kit. It's a, it's, I wish the illusion one didn't suck so much. All right. This one dies. Excuse me. Not with that attack roll. Use your hate sense. That's a hit. That's what you needed. Um, you are correct. It dies. I use my object interaction to tap these guys on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Mud pie. Uh, oh, you're both full health. Wow. This thicker flame to the west one. Mm. Different one today. I'm going to say it more thematic for you. Yeah, Maybe you'll have more luck. Got to balance it out a little bit. Nice average damage. Yeah. Green, green flame blade on the one on the east. Okay. That's a hit. I think it's funny. Uh, Liza was only keeping them busy until she had an audience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, now that you guys are here, here, I'll, I'll show you. I can kill them. And versatile damage on the other one. Okay. That kills that one. 
Nimble escape, disengage. Uh, now you see me, now you don't. Uh, I didn't. I forgot to shut the door. But I, I was just kidding. It doesn't. That doesn't matter. Right now he dies. Jump, jump! And so you don't know that. <laughs> so. Very swingy tonight. Yeah. Oh so. my goodness! Hey. <laughs> Snake eyes for my fucking rolls. That's unbelievable. Somebody please. Toll the dead. D twelves. Come on, two. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. We we need we <laughs> need you. Twenty four that you spoke, Ice Heart. I wasn't expecting to have to do anything. And then we weren't either. That's a hit. Come on, low damage. Oh there nine. He's dead. Your D tens beat my D twelves. <laughs> That's usually the way. All right. Well, you kind of blew up the place. Uh, is anyone proficient in uh, alchemical equipment? I think uh, yeah. Liza is. Liza is. Okay. Do do a tool check for me. Okay. I gotta find these tools. There they are. Uh, first page, bottom, under your skills. Uh, okay. You managed to scrape together something. I mean, a lot of the stuff was kind of. Uh, you know, and really unfinished uh, and kind of combustible. But you managed to uh, put together something. I'll put it in your inventory here. Cool. There we... Is it in there? It should be in consumables, I thought. Did it not put it in there? It didn't look like it did. Let me try it again. There we go. Uh, uh, bottled Comet. <laughs> uh. So it's As good at cleaning things? Throw the orb up to 30 feet. It shatters on impact, releasing a 20-foot radius burst of contaminated energy. DC 15 con save, take 8d6 and one level of contamination. In addition, an arcane anomaly occurs. Uh -huh. Well, when do you guys want that? Or, or you want me to keep it? or You can keep it because you'll remember to use it. Yeah, that's... I find it interesting. interesting. That there's so many weapons and items that do contamination, which is pretty useless if you're fighting monsters. Anyways, could I have that delirium hammer? That seems like something my people would really, really like. Sure. They think delirium is holy. Yeah, easier to put the uh, the um, delirium spikes in people's hearts uh, if you have a hammer. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. Sacred. Cool for the ceremony. Falling fire worships delirium. All right, oh, you have you weapon. have looted everything, destroyed everyone except for some gibbering mouthers, gibbering. Sorry. So if you want to take charge of this place, um, Ice Heart, we need to. <laughs> it's like right next to Castle Track, and I. <laughs> we need to bring someone in to. to uh, um, we need the clerics to uh, sanctify this place so the bad yeah. doesn't get in. And a ranger to train all those gibbering mallards to be allies. That's what <laughs> rangers do, right? I don't know. I've never met one. <clears throat> we're, going, we're going back to the tower with the research. Is that yep. correct? All that right. is correct. Back to the tower. Well, you guys know you're going to have to, you know, make a roll. I was you were to going to forget. Into... No, I'm not going to remember. <laughs> I'm not going to forget that. Uh, no ones. All right. You guys get back to the tower. Do you give them the research? Yes. Oh, okay. So you give the research. Congratulations. You guys gain a level. Let's also take a break. In the tower. Yeah. Let's also take a break now. Uh, I know it's a little early, but it's a good time to break. So when I come back, I'll import y'all.
Hey, Darren, are you back? Yep. So a uh, question, not for this level, but for next level when I get a theme. So I took that ASI, that um, two points that I got for completing my quest, uh -huh. and now I have a 20 intelligence. Can I boost it above 20 because of that two points or not? Yes. I, I believe so. I believe it, it says that uh, your maximum for that stat increases to 22. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah, otherwise it would punish you for uh, finishing it before, you know, before level 8. <laughs> I have a question for you, Darren. Yep. What were the rules about spells like Dimension Door? Did they even work in this area? Uh, or was it just Teleport door that didn't? Works. Uh, I don't know. Let me actually double check. Um, that's a good question. Because I know okay. some spells don't. Um... Delirium, magic, and spells. I bet you it's in there. Um, spells. No, that's the new spells. So that's not it. wonder if it's in Exploring Drakenheim. Maybe it's in here. There we go. Effects on spells. Look at that. Um, Dimension Door should be fine. All right. Um, what it stops you to doing is things like Rope Trick, Tiny Hut, Magnificent Mansion. Okay. Um, things like that. Okay. Mark's the only one not back. That's okay. We can start. Uh, Todd, is Iceheart ready? Uh, almost. Sorry. Uh, Spellcaster. No, that's fine. Billy, is Liza ready? Yes, Liza is ready. I will import Liza. I'm always curious to see what you're going to do. <laughs> oh, you took a level in Ranger. Interesting. <laughs> no, I didn't. She's the <laughs> wizard from here on out. That's, that's almost a straight class for you. What's going on? Yeah, it's, a, it's only a one dip. All right, you are close your character sheet and go ahead with me. Go ahead with Ice Heart, okay? Yep. So, the difference is Todd rarely ever multi classes. Yes, not never, but just rarely ever. Hey, hey, hey Darren, where is oh. um exhaustion on here? Because I have one level of exhaustion uh, underneath your avatar from left to right are six dots. Right around your armor class. Okay. Uh, which reminds me, I will change Ice Heart to have Mage Armor on. Thank you. Because you'll forget. <clears throat> yes, right. I wonder why my AC sucks. <laughs> Thank Matt, you. Is Mud Pie ready? Yep. All right. Okay, my pie is done. Uh, Mark, you back? Oh, ready for import going to back. Okay, maybe I should have read. Read in chat. Uh, 
All right, level eight. That's a good level, it's a fun level. Hey, uh, Iceheart, do you want to, before we leave for the next day, you want to make that scroll of web and I'll copy it into my spell book? I won't be yes. able to cast it the next day, but I'll, I'll be able to cast it the day after that. Yep. So the wizards are very happy with that research. They're obviously going to look at his plans about the inscrutable tower because that's what they're going to want to do next. Is they're going to want to take that tower back. But they have some plans still to make. It's going to take a bit. Right. We're going to rest a day there so we can get our, all our stuff back. Yeah, yeah, of course. So does this mean we're getting like one day of just resting? Well, it's up to you guys. Yes, we're getting a minimum of a night's rest. If we want a full another day because you need to do something, I'm down with that. Oh, um, oh, that's a spell scroll. I meant to actually pull in the spell. This is good. Um, do we have to purge contaminations anyways, too? Yeah, I, I know uh, Liza needs to. I, I did. I kept the third level slot, so I did it before my long rest. But now I have one level of exhaustion after the long rest. So if we stay another night... Yeah. All right, we'll do that. Night. Yeah, we should oh. definitely do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They'll. They'll. They're fine with that. Uh, I'll do remember that it's only the top floor. So. Yeah. And there's a lot of wizards here. <laughs> so. And they would like to also recharge. Got it. Uh, it's just. I mean, you're the ones who took the tower, so of course they're going to let you. But it is kind of a rather large communal sleeping area. <laughs> yes, uh, I mean, sorry, I small uh... community area with a lot of lot of bodies. A lot of bodies. <laughs> So my next question for the wonderful Amethyst Academy, hey, I think I got the name right for once. Um, do they, have they formulated over the last couple of days any plans to take out or to take back the tower? Oh yes, they're definitely uh, in the, they're definitely planning to do that for sure. Um, they're, they're looking at all the things they can, but if there was, you know, some things you guys wanted to do before uh, they're ready for it, by all means. All right. Uh, I think we should, maybe we should check in on the clerics and the yeah. town watch, the the lantern, I believe they're called. <clears throat> maybe we can do something for them. Well, I vote clerics because they're my peeps. And I want to get right. an awesome delirium hammer. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Head there to the give them the that. awesome delirium hammer. Is that what I heard? Yep. Okay, so I need a travel check. This is why I will never take teleport here in this campaign. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Mark's back yet. You want to roll a I'll roll 20 for him? Right, we fine. trust you. Uh, and then you're also, of course, uh, actually, you don't have to, because you don't have to go through the gate, you don't actually have to go through the deep haze. Yay! I uh, like that. So you get there, and they're very happy about the hammer, and also uh, Lucrucia is quite happy that you're here, because, and also very happy that uh, Iceheart and Liza are here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That scares me. Well, the, um, <clears throat> the Knights of the Silver Order are planning to take the Temple Gate back from the um, Garmirs, the Knolls. And uh, they're asking other, you know, factions to help them. Now, Lucrucia does not want the Silver Order to take over that gate. So, and she also wants uh, to get the St. Vertuvio's Cathedral back. As Saint Vertuvio was, you know, a very uh, prominent paladin from the Sacred Flame, and uh, there's also some heirlooms in there that they want as well. Currently, the leader of the Garamir uh, and his squad are also in the cathedral, so they have the cathedral and the Temple Gate. Um, so. It's time Lucrucia wants to t get that favor from the Amethyst Academy. Mm. Uh, she wants the Amethyst Academy to agree to help 
with the temple gate and okay. to find out the their plan on how they're going to get the temple gate. Are the knights are getting the temple gate? Yes. Okay. They want to know what the knight's plan on getting the gate is. So once once Lucretia finds out, you know, what their plan is, she's going to make alternate plans to uh cuz she's got an idea how to get that how to do both get the St. Vertuvio's Cathedral in her hands and to stop them from getting Temple Gate. Hmm. So she wants the Amethyst Academy to be spies. Can you spy with magic? I thought it was just for blowing stuff up. <laughs> That's right. Um, all right. We will we will continue to walk. We've got a path mapped out to go between these two places. I tell you. So you're going to um, go back yeah, to okay. the clock tower? Yep. All right. That's another travel check. Yep. I guess I actually have to roll it, too. Ooh, Ooh I like the 20. Good, right? If we can get a 1. But we can't. All right. So you get back to the clock tower and uh, you uh, talk to um, you talk to Eldrick Runeweaver and uh, he's going to need some convincing because he's like, we're not spies. <laughs> well, a oh, couple things. We did promise that we would help them. Two, um, their plan is actually very beneficial for us because we really don't want those guys that close to us. Really, we don't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he'll... And uh... three, um, if need be, maybe we can help us in some way. Well, he says... I. He doesn't think that your companions are well-loved by uh, by the Silver Order. No. So no, he thinks really he will aren't. he will send probably um uh River to uh oh. t talk to um the uh knights. Mm -hmm. You know, talk to uh talk to their boss. Which is uh what's their boss's name again? Uh, Theodore uh, Knight Marshall. Captain Theodore Marshall, Ophelia Reed. So shoot, he'll send Re uh, River there to uh, say that they'll help and to get the information that they need. So during that time, though, uh, that'll take about a day. Is there anything you guys wanted to do for a day while they get the information to Lucrucia? Then Lucrucia will make her plan. Mm, just see if we can uh, find the... I want to call them the Hood and Lantern, but they're the Town Guard group. Yeah, they're at Shepherd's Gate. Mm -hmm. The uh, Hood and Lanterns. Yeah. Yeah, I got the name right. I uh, just want to make sure, check in with them, see if they want to say anything, need help with anything. I'm trying to forge an alliance with them. Yeah, you're trying to mend some fences. You guys are doing some good job lately. Yeah. All right. So if you want to go to, you can go to Shepherd's Gate or Drakenheim's Garrison. Drakenheim's Garrison is actually where. Uh, their base is. So they have this gate and they have the base as well. We'll go to their base and hopefully they won't attack us on site. Okay, so that looks like a travel check. There's a one. Hey. Okay. Exploring Drakenheim. Random encounters. Inside. And I do Six have a points. table for the inner city. We come upon a patrol of guards. Oh, good. <laughs> Queen's oh, men look, looters. Time to beat on the Queen's men? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me see what the uh, this was the inner city. City you rolled a ninety-two. 
Uh, why is that Queensman? It doesn't make any sense. Random inner cabins. city table. Inner city. A ninety-two should have been. Oh, whatever. Queensman looters is fine. Um, quite off. You guys could slaughter these guys without thinking, to be honest. Um. Uh, but you want the stuffs too, yeah. And you actually kind of want to slaughter them. Never mind. <laughs> you kind of want to. Say, we asked them to drop their stuff and run. Yeah. No, they're not going to. So. Okay. Queens vans. Uh, <clears throat> so I will remove Voros, and I will move you guys to about there. Let's say. And they're supposed to be. Uh, 2d6 bandits. <laughs> well, you guys wanted to slaughter them anyway, right? Yeah, let's test That's out our new Try out your new abilities. Take it for a test drive. Who took Fireball? Not me. Sorry. I'm no, just kidding. So the Queen's been come in. And they're like, uh, yeah, give us your stuff. Oh, you and guys. Like, you can give us your stuff. Let's try out your new level 8 abilities. Are these the ones that burned down our house? Yes, they are. Oh. At least I've been hey. saying they have been. <laughs> and I'm to be trusted. <laughs> you are to be trusted. And if you don't trust me, let me just... Put some magic behind that statement. I'm going to use Instinctive Charm on him. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Darren, these bandit icons are awesome. Uh, so thanks. They're actually from my um, After the End uh, one. Success. Oops. All right. And then I missed Liza anyway. Ah, I recognize those. Yeah. Are they opening up with Earp's, uh machine guns on us? <laughs> yeah, well, if you scroll in, yes, they actually do have <laughs> guns in there, I think, somewhere, but uh, maybe not. No, no, they don't. They have a gas mask, though. So. Yeah, they're awesome. Liza. Nimble escape. Oh, shoot. I can't get over there. Never mind. I'm just going to stay right here, and I'm going to use Hypnotic Gaze on the one right next to me. Okay. Charmed and incapacitated. Zens, you want me to try to web them? Keep them there, or would you rather they can move? I can get there, so if you put the edge where I can still hit them, that's fine. Sounds like a plan. All right. I have a popped out because it happens on their turn. And I will seek cover from shooty things. All right. This band is in shooty thing. He will have to make a deck save. He will fail. He is restrained. Uh, where's the restrain button? All of a sudden, looks like a web. Come on now. All right, and then he is going to try to make a strength check to get out of it. And he fails. Mud pie. Alrighty. I will just cast an version of old person on the three that I have targeted. The three you have targeted will have to make their wisdom saves. They all failed. So this is uh, paralyzed. Hey, go have fun with that sense. Crit away. And I will pop that out because they get make their saves at the end of each of their turns. 
Bandit Captain has to make a deck save as he's starting within the... Uh, he made it. He has succeeded. He is going to move to here. If he attacks me, I'm using Instinctive Charm on him. Okay, go ahead. He succeeds. It's going to attack you with his scimitar. And scimitar. There's a hit. I'm actually doing damage on Liza. And then as uh, an offhand attack against his friend. Hits. Four damage, which I believe removes his incapacitation. Yep. All right, this guy technically fails his deck save automatically uh, in the web because he is stunned. So I'm going to roll that. At the end of his turn, he can make his wisdom save to become a non stunned, which he does not. This guy has to make a deck save. Which he fails, so he is restrained. Now has to make a strength check to try to get out of it. He does not. Zans, look, cotton candy everywhere. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> All I got was a, a level eight. That's just plus constitution. So, I mean, go, go to the middle of that. I'm gonna kill this one. Uh, again. Okay. What's wrong? Go ahead. That's a miss. Okay. Got it. That's a hit. Poor bandit. Never knew with him. <laughs> All right, this guy is automatically restrained because he automatically fails his re reflex save. Uh, he then has to make the wisdom save at the end of his turn to become unstunned. He is not. Liza. Uh, nimble escape. Disengage. Okay. Booming blade on the one to her north. Your advantage on the attack. If you hit, you automatically crit. That's a crit. Good for Boom and Blade. Nine points of damage. Another six. Dead. I will end my turn right there. Ice Heart. I have a constitution saving throw, sir. Um, the bad guy, right? Bad captain? Yeah, been the captain, sorry. Uh, I fail, I'm going to take some damage. Yep. And then I wow, believe it says... Wow, you're amazing at that. And then a d4, and it tells you what direction you move, so... A two is uh, south. It attempts to move five feet south. Not the direction I was hoping for. <laughs> I wanted to accidentally walk back into the web. All right, this guy, all I can do is try to make the whole person check. He fails. Mud pie. All right, the northmost one with the sacred flame. Disadvantage on the save. That one. Disadvantage on his saving throw because he is restrained. What? Oh, I, 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 <laughs> oh. Ending turn. All right. He goes to church every Sunday, and he actually needs it. 
miss miss this is terrible uh, this guy all he can do is make his save oh my god he is no longer paralyzed this guy is trying to make his strength check He makes it. Toughest what? bandits in the street. And... <laughs> then... He's, He's like, I'm out. <laughs> That's a miss. <clears throat> uh, that's a hit. And a smite. Wow, he's got hit points. Yeah, Liza. the captains normally do. They also have normally have captain. Booming blade on this one. Friend is incapacitated. That's a crit. <laughs> That's an amazing crit. Hmm. That'll make up for it. That's enough. Ice heart. All right. Um, is this guy wearing? It's the captain wearing metal armor. He is not. That's a hit. It will be a cold day in hell before I find someone in metal armor, I swear. There's one, someone right there. <laughs> Enemy, I should point out. <laughs> My body. Uh, let's take Flame on the Web. Bandit. All right, so you will have a disadvantage on his deck save. Better. Oh, and this type of flame doesn't burn the web. Yeah. It's that magic type of flame. What's the extra four, D4 for? Blessed strikes. I have to fix it. Oh, okay. Anything else? Nope. My bad. There you go. Uh, I'm going to disengage. Bye, ya. This guy's like, you're leaving me. Come on. That wasn't far enough, Bandit Captain. Oh, stuck in a web. <laughs> Next turn, that guy will get away. Sends. Oh, uh, Luckily, he's not afraid of you. Oh, well then. But he yeah. should be. Yeah, we're going to do... Yeah, 2d4, woo. The whole shebang bang. <laughs> and now the part that counts. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get hit. Okay. Um, let me move over here to see if I can see this other one. Oh, well, he'll do an attack of opportunity as you go by. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I, didn't, I forgot the nimble escape. He misses. Oh, you are so unworthy that he didn't even bother noticing you. Hey, Zens, can you see the uh, other bandit up there? You do have advantage uh, on the attack because he is restrained. I think he's like here. Okay, I'll roll again. 
just one time. All right, still a hit. Well, you only got a hit point left. Maybe if you went to here. Uh, no, I don't think you're Anything really else from Liza? Oh, I'm sorry, no. I apologize. I should have ended my turn. I see you. Oh, wow. Okay, great. There's no getting away from me. <laughs> you guys are like so certain you're not going to run into another encounter that you're just blasting everything. Uh, obviously, I, your lightning bolt has to start from yeah, you. Yeah, I know. I, I couldn't because I was zoomed in the wrong spot. But uh, so, it's got the range. Well, I, I'll go through the, the, the die rolls, but let's face it. Uh, yeah, that guy uh, did, didn't see it coming. Got him. <laughs> Funny. Loot. I have a loot roll, I believe. Lucky finds. Loading the looters. Oh. But you got to try out your new stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're going to the tower. Uh, I didn't think so. I thought you guys were no, going, we're to, going the to the guardhouse. Drakenheim, uh, Drakenheim Garrison. Okay. Which I have a picture. You've never been here before. Oh, that actually looks like a nice place. There's no okay. deep haze. Uh, I actually Nothing, have... All the buildings look perfect. I'm guessing this is the before times. Yeah, probably. Uh, the garrison, I don't think you guys can see that, so let's, uh, do they have, do they put walls and stuff in? They did, but I think it's unnecessary to put the walls in and stuff like that, because, so I will just make it so you guys can see it. It's not, I mean, you're not going to attack it, so. Oh, um, they do have some deep haze around. Well, not, yeah, just, there's haze every, always, right? Yeah. So there's a small fortress looming over the streets. Its towers jutting out above the impenetrable walls and thick iron portcullis. Several circular bastion towers topped with ballistas reinforcing the walls. One can make out from a distance several green cloaked figures with crossbows manning the walls and towers. Uh, Wave at them so yeah. that they know that we're not trying to sneak up on them. Absolutely. So uh, they see you and they, uh, you know, they wave you in. And, All right. Uh, this is the hood of hey, the Easy. Um. So, Petra Lang is actually uh, at the gate. So I don't know if you remember her, but you rescued her. Oh, was she in the um under the I forget what that place was where we got the magic uh, cast. Flame strike item. No, rats. Okay. All the rats. Remember the king rat with the big delirium teeth? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do remember him. Yeah, it was one of your first missions. Yep. Uh, she's there and she's, you know, happy to see you guys. Kind of curious how you're coming by. I was like, oh, oh, I heard uh, you, you guys are helping us uh, take out, take that, um, take that gate. We're helping them take which gate? Ah, the the uh, temple gate. Yeah, us and the Silver Order are uh, getting together, banding together to do it. It's, uh, it would be very helpful for us if the uh, Silver Order uh, uh, takes that gate uh, from the Garamir. And we're going to be putting quite a lot of forces towards it. And we heard that you guys are uh, uh, lending some aid as well. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm really bad. We're spying on those people, and we're not helping them. We want them to fail, correct? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, can we convince you not to uh, take that gate? Um, why would that doesn't that sounds odd? Why would why would you say that? Well, um, if you wanted a gate, I think that 
the troll gate, the king's gate, I think that's what it was called, would be a better gate for you guys to work on. No, 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 we have a gate, right? It's, we're helping, we're, we're teaming up with the Silver Order. Yeah, that's not a good plan. What, Is there anything I can that? do to convince really? you to not team up with them? Well, well, it's not really me that makes the decisions either, right? Um, I mean, Fair enough. Do you I want to talk that. to Lord Commander Elias Drexel? Sorry, did she ask us if we wanted to talk to him? Yeah. Or, oh, uh, yes, actually, that would be good. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sans is uh, not going along. We're just going to stay down here in the courtyard. This was a bust. Uh, I'm sorry, you want me to try to charm this guy? No. <laughs> I do not wish you to everyone. use magic on them. We're giving them an we're giving them a fair chance to step away from what is going to be a horrible plan for them. Well, that's the symbol of the uh, Hood Lanterns. So I don't know if you guys remember that. All right, the boss. Ooh, he doesn't look so bad. Uh, hey, a merry fellow. He's like I. Uh... I heard from uh, Petra that you wanted to talk to me. Yes. What can we do to convince you to not help the Silver Knights? Whatever their name is. Uh, are you here on behalf of the... I'm be on here on behalf of myself and only my oh, myself and my group. Or I'm not representing anyone at this time. And why have, wouldn't uh... you want us to help? I, I mean, I guess... I guess you guys personally have had some issues with the Silver Order. That is correct. We've had many issues with them. They have not. They actively dislike us, and the feeling is mutual. Well, I mean, I understand your point of view, but I mean, you guys have done some questionable things. Uh, overall, we're you know we we were warmed up to you, but. We, we're planning on going on a full alliance with the Silver Order. I mean, especially since the the Sacred Flame has come a, a, a full alliance with the Amethyst Academy. Um, we feel that this is... I look at my robe. <laughs> yeah, so we feel that this is really benefit of, for us. And you asking us not to... But you're saying you're not... From the like, you're not representing. The... I'm not representing anyone but us at this time. I um, don't, I don't see how this would benefit us. Like, how how are you going to be able to convince me that this is not the best interest for the Hooded Lanterns? Well, let me ask you a simple question: Would you be better off um, allying with the? Sacred Flame? I hope I got that name right. I'm always bad with names. Well, uh, Sacred Flame is the entire religion, by the way. Oh, okay. But Sorry. both the Silver Fire. Order and the Falling Sorry. Fire are members of the Sacred Flame. They're just different branches, right? Yeah. The, the cleric, not the paladin people. The what, what name of your group? The Crazy Falling Cultists? Fire. Falling Fire. <laughs> what can we do to convince you to support the Falling Fire instead? Are you here in representatives of the, the Fallen Fire? And he's looking towards the two people mm -hmm. with crystals stuck in their chests. Oh, no, I'm downstairs. I didn't think it's obvious. <laughs> it's just a bad it. idea and doesn't want any part of it. Got it. <laughs> uh, no, not currently. But if you are willing to um, entertain the idea, maybe we can act as intermediaries and have you... Um, uh, the communications between your two groups can uh, be established. But you're not here representing either of your parties, so neither Again. of them have worked out. It's you yourself that wants this to happen, not your yes. factions. I I would really like you not to be aligned with them. Um, and if you're willing to align with one of the others, I will speak to, I think that you'd probably be more happy with the other religious group than the mages, but I might be wrong on that. Um, I'm willing to go out there, though, and see if either party is willing to um, Well, so with far, you. the only other faction that has come up to us asking for 
official allegiance is the Queen's men. So <clears throat> if you if your factions, your two factions want to actually put some pen to paper and some proposals, uh, I'd be willing to look at. It. But for right now, we're going to get ready for battle. Right now, okay. we're going to be helping, and you guys will be there too, I'm assuming. Probably. I, I presume our factions and everything that's going on, we seem to be in the middle of everything nowadays. So I will be, I, I will entertain them for sure, but I don't, I mean, I'm just giving, telling you the honest truth. Uh, the Queen's Men and the uh, Silver Order have done more things for us than, than this, the Fallen Flame have. Fair enough. Uh, again, um, I, if we can take your leave, I'll see if I can uh, talk to them right away and see if something can be at least started. Okay. So you take your leave. Uh, now, there's something about, interesting about the garrison is that, well, they can sleep here. I mean, you don't see oh, any barracks it? of them sleeping here or nothing like that. So it is a bit odd, but you do know that this is like home base for them. Hmm. All right. You don't know how that? they're doing it, but they are. <clears throat> All right. I think okay. we should go talk to your sacred flame people. Or your, yeah. The clerics. Let's go talk to the clerics. She's making a master plan. This is outside when we're traveling because okay. we'll be rolling D20s. But I was thinking we talk to them. Maybe we can get them to convince them to switch sides. And therefore, the, the I mean, it's in their best interest in that they will have a the guards on their side and b not have to fight the guards take over the areas and maybe their ideals might align better than the mages that's my thoughts at least rest of the party uh, i feel like the clerics ideologically like like the fact that the fall the, the delirium is here and that the the hooded lanterns really want things to go back to the pre-delirium times. I think they'd be so. happy if the, we could control the delirium and take back the city. That's sort of the pitch that I would go with. Yeah. Well, maybe find out what Lucretia has an idea for the city before yeah. we. Let's let's go talk to her. If or can you talk to her? I don't get along well with Lucretia. Nothing against her. Personally, just... I'm not the best speaker for talking to her. All right, so yeah, you guys I mean, are heading to St. Selena's Monastery, passing right past the St. Vertibio's Cathedral full of Garamir. Is this correct? Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. We're not, we haven't been told to clear that out yet, and I don't want no. to mess up anyone else's plans. No, but uh, I'm actually kind of curious. Do I have a picture? I don't think I do, which makes me sad. A picture of the... Um, Unholy Knoll. Like of the Knoll, the Lord of the Feast. The Lord of the mm. Feast is the one who uh, is the leader of the of the Garmir. All right, so go ahead and roll your 20s. No, oh, no, no. Yes! Okay. Maybe it'll be a friendly yeah. encounter. I'm hoping. Things like that happen. Mm hmm. We found the guards a couple of times. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay. Sounds like a movie title. For the makers of train spotting comes watching gargoyles. Now these gargoyles are all along the wall. And I remember all once upon a time, time, Zens wanted to, why don't we just climb the wall? Mm. Walk up the wall. Yeah, okay. Uh, but it, this is why, because the gargoyles would have, um, they would have found you. And come alive and eat you. So, wall gargoyles are a little bit different than regular gargoyles. Okay. Mm, yes, they start with two hundred and twelve hit points each, and there's ten of them. Enjoy. 
well, there's going to be like however many, 10 less to be uh, on the um, wall, right? All right, so uh, let's see. I'm going to put five over here. And five over here. And they will be 10 feet up in the air. Oh, do I have to really do them separately? Oh, that's annoying. I should have just, well, that's how it is. Right, and uh... oh, <laughs> I never did get to show this to you guys. Remember the the those queen, um, uh, the, the the queen's handmaidens. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. oh. That's unpleasant. Isn't that awesome? She's got delirium shards in her chest, too. Um, well, here's one of the a good picture of one of the Hulks. Oh, I like that. And that's one of us. <laughs> he's got two mouths. Oh, one, this is one of the things. Oh, yeah, he's got a big belly button mouth. <laughs> yep. yeah. yeah. And do you remember the uh, the the Hotel California? You know the uh, creature at the at the bottom of there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So I thought that was pretty. Yeah, I'm trying to find uh, it's a pretty a good, good one actually of of what I was looking for, but that'll work. All the mouths. Oh hey, if you click on them in chat, they pop out for you. Oh, you guys remember her? The Crimson Maybe. Countess. Is that a harpy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah the harpy. Oh, uh, this is the one you haven't met yet, uh, but you guys are thinking about it. Ah, the butcher. The executioner. Uh, oh, oh, that's what it's called. Okay. The Lord of the Feast. Uh, I'm sensing ranged combat. And, here and those are delirium arrows. Excellent. Yes. Here's the pale man that you guys just fought. Oh. Picture of him. oh, there's the picture of him. Well, I thought I could find a better picture of the actual um I was looking for the uh ah, the gargoyles. I thought there was uh hmm. one of the gargoyles over the walls, but uh maybe not not that one. Because there's some really good art in this place in the uh, in these books. They did a good job. Not that one, so maybe. Oh, here's a here's a picture of the tower. They're gonna want to. Uh, uh, My tower. Oh, yeah. it's a bit of the skyline. Yeah. And Todd, you should recognize that cool. tower. Yeah, that's that's my tower that I. I Other than that. <laughs> You and I, uh, someone else DM'd us. Oh, that. yeah, okay. <laughs> That's from Friday with that weird tower with different things going on. Okay. Yeah, remember it was broken in the middle yep. yet still standing? Yep, and we had to find a way up to the next level, and every level was like a different time uh, er era. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, then he's mad. All right, so I guess I can't find a picture of the... Uh, the gargoyles it makes me sad it's uh i thought they were particularly cool does anyone um, see them on the map yep a group on this set and a group on this set and i have no idea where you are oh, okay i see the ones to the east west right. east let's west go and get yeah. oh, there's the right. actual fight. she was hiding on the rocks okay where where are the other ones not these 
Um, to the east. There's a building. Okay. Uh, to the east. Directly east of you is one. Okay, I don't see East, that. east. More east. It must be out of range. Yeah, they're just in my range. God, I'm getting off the freaking balls. Okay, I'm just double checking to make sure that these things. Uh... All right. Ooh, I'm shocked. All oh, right, they have fly speeds. Of course they do. Good thing you use, use up all those spells with the bandits. Yeah, all yeah, two. It was worth it. Did you guys even roll for initiative? <laughs> yes. That's why we're so low. You got four, 19 and over. Uh oh. Oh. That unfortunately looks like it's on you, not me. Sorry about that, Menpai. Do any sort of reaction you're going to use? Uh, no. Okay. There, has, there has to be someone else within range to use the instinctive charm. Mm -hmm. I'll use shield if he hits me. Yep, yeah, there comes a shield. There's a shield. Okay. Oh, weird. Did it actually put a shield on for something? Oh, weird. Anyway. Uh... That's a hit. Unless you, are you gonna use a reaction of some sort? I cast shield. Do you? Uh, no. No, I do not. I'm sorry. Didn't think you had that. No. Ice heart. Fine. Storm sphere. Also, as I remember it, the pop out spell. The pop out spell. <laughs> Okay, well, those two will have to make the strength. It's immediate, so yep. uh, they have to make their saves right now. No, that works. Nice. And they take no damage uh, for that. Uh, is it no for that one? Okay. No damage. And, that, and then bonus action, I am going to zap one of them. And I get advantage because he's inside the sphere. Ah, uh, but you also get, don't you get disadvantage because you're right next to him? Yes, I, I think that that's fair. That it should be because it's a ranged so attack. So balance then. The oh, oops, sorry, I hit the wrong button. Ignore that completely. I'll just redo it. Hack normal. That's a crit. I like that. Uh, that's versatile damage, critical hit. Let's see if they like lightning. Oh, yeah, you did well on the roll too. Yeah, that's a nice roll. Hmm. Is it hurt? We don't have health bars. Uh, okay, didn't know you didn't have health bars. How about now? I just noticed. Yep, okay, half damage. So, wow. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, let me just target the ones that are affected. Oh, shit. Sorry. So all of those guys? Yeah. All of them? Okay. Yeah. So I will just select them all. 
quick wisdom saves. All right. Now I got to rethink about what I was going to do. I will be back in one moment. Okay, so uh, this one is frightened. That one is not. This one is frightened. That one is not. This one is frightened. That one's not. These two over here are frightened. Okay. And all right, cast. I should have picked. Mud pie. Cast a spirit guardian. I will pop this out. Well, luckily with Laurent here, it's only going to be three concentration or four concentration. It's not five. Luckily. <laughs> I think that's it. All right. Liza has a plan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, the three that are not frightened. I'm going to upcast cause fear at third level. Ah! Okay. Success. Fail. So that one's frightened. But it's a different frightened. It is. These so, get their save at the end of their turn. I will mark that as a different one. I do hope they uh, change the consistency of conditions of frightened and grappled. Okay. Um, nimble escape, disengage. Oh, shoot. I'm going to move up to here. I'm going to put concentration on myself. At the it end. is on, but you just took it off now. Oh, I didn't see it on me. They recast the spell uh, without using a resource. All right. I know it didn't show in your icon, but it was on there. Oh! Ah, I'm being yelled at. All right. Terrible. I missed on an eighteen. That's embarrassing. It flies away. I'll just move it. It flies away. It flies away. Are they attempting their saving throw? No, they're just leaving. Oh, okay. That one attacks lies on me is instinctive charm on it. Go ahead. Let's see your reaction. Wisdom save. Fail. I guess I'm attacking the guy next to me, I'm assuming. Should have waited and used that on the last attack because I think that's more powerful. Missed.
Missed. This guy is provoking an attack of opportunity from Iceheart and Mud Pie. This one right nope. here. Not doing it. There, I'll do it. Taking Spirit Guardian. Oh, yeah. That's Spirit Guardian. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to take some Sacred Flame, too. Yeah, that's the Sacred Flame. So, Sacred Flame, and then I'm going to have to make the saving throw for the... Oh. I failed. I'm going to take a whopping seven points of damage, which doesn't kill it. This is difficult terrain going through here, though. Yep. Uh, For both of them. Times two. And then that was half its move. And then it completes it and runs away. And this one is provoking attack. Oh, of course it has to do Spirit Guardians. Oh, I'm going to take half damage. Oh, there's. I am provoking attack of opportunity for my heart. Yes. Uh, it will still eventually get away. It double moves, so it's gone. Okay. This one runs away. I mean, if you think thematically, you go up, you guys put a bunch, whole bunch of fear on them, they turn around. They're not very smart. Zen, this is provoking attack of opportunity from you. Nope. All right. It'll fly away. Ice heart. That's a hit. And, oh, wow, there's some real damage. And it's a little bit slower. I know it won't make a difference. No bonus action? Moves. You're not going to use a bonus action? Oh, no, I'm not going to bother. Same. Oh, wait, that guy's not charmed. No, never mind, he will get one. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize he didn't have the uh, um, fear condition on him. That's a hit. a little bit more damage. Sins. <laughs> That's a miss. Can't believe it. It's not my night. Not my <laughs> night. <laughs> Mud your heart's not in your heart's not in this fight. Yeah, I can't get I think they're constructs, so I can't get blood back from them anyway. Mm. Yes. Aren't they cargoes? Constructs? I thought they were actual creatures. Oh, I don't know. I, I was just. Which one are you taking play on? Sorry, there's a lot of targets. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's a damage. That's a me, Mario? Liza. Booming Blade on the one of the Northeast. Okay. You don't need to be this anymore. That's a hit. I will mark him. If he moves, he's going to take damage. Nimble escape, uh, disengage. All right, this guy has to make the saving throw for the Spirit Guardians. I fail. Oops, I who did I just apply it to? You applied it to this one. Yeah, thank you, because I... Because um, that was an error. The one that, well, that's the one he had targeted, so that's... Yeah. Uh, I, yeah just, I wasn't thinking I just applied it without... without uh, who I have selected. There we go. And he's going to attack. Look at that damage. You do have to make a concentration check, though. 
You're fine. Uh, nope, not claws again. Bite this time. Miss! This guy has to make the wisdom saving throw. I succeed, I'm going to take half damage. Mm, nice roll. Uh, half. He's going to attack Zens. This guy has to make the Wisdom saving throw. He fails. He is going to take Booming Blade damage. He is going to attack Mud Pine. Concentration. You're fine. Round three. Ice heart. That's a hit. Dead. Let's clean this up a bit. That's a hit. Holy shit. Dead. Right. Zen. Hopefully the three of you can take on the last guy. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just done. Yeah. <laughs> it's just three is for me for the rest of the night. That's a hit. And I had a three in it as well. There was one before it, but there was a three. <laughs> a three on the die. Yeah, you're right. It's just everything threes. Yeah. Do that thing extra. Mud pie. Oh, I finally found it. Oh, awesome. oh, that's cool. Oh, sorry. I took a flame here. I was looking at pictures. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to take some damage. Why is that? Booming blade. Hit. We must escape, disengage. All right, he has to make the saving throw for the spirit, spirit Guardians. Still going to take half, though. Don't hurt my cleric. There's a one in there, at least. Mm-hmm. Round four. See, they couldn't kill it. You're wrong, I said. You got a shocking grasp it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all brave, but it's almost dead next to all your armored friends. That's a hit. Yep. <laughs> I can be brave when there's no danger involved. All right. 
You killed them. They are dead. All the gargoyles. Well, a lot of them ran away, but who are they going to kill, right? Yeah. They're going to go to the town guard and ask for, you know, hey, we were attacked violently. All right. Hmm. Okay, you guys get back to the uh, St. Selena's Monastery. Lucretia is happy for you guys to come back. Tell her the plan. Tell her the plan. They don't want to tell the plan. I don't know. I, I mean, it's your plan. I started looking towards the people who are actually allied with them. <laughs> To speak to them. No, I don't even know what happened. happened. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I'm kind of confused. Mm -hmm. I'll speak up. So um, they sent River and one of the other people from the academy over to come up with a plan for them, and they're going to find out their plan and let you know about it so you can double cross them. And by the way, um, those people that man the Shepherd's Gate, they're going to be helping him out too. Are oh, they going to help me out the Amethyst uh, Academy? No. No, the people, no, they're helping out the, the silver people that you're trying to... Oh, yeah, I know. Like, they're, they're trying to get into an alliance. Yes. Yeah. We're trying we, to convince them that maybe they want to align with you instead. Um, wait, you, you were tipping them off that we were planning on doing... Oh, absolutely not. We said that we don't want them allied with the people who are against us as an individual people and asked them if they would be interested in aligning with anyone else. Well, I think they might be interested in aligning after we pull off what, uh, if you guys can help us pull off what we want to do. So I'm right, getting yeah. some information on what they're planning. There is over a hundred Garamir at the temple gate along with their chimera pet. The, um, only, what? We can only take about 70. You'll have to deal with the other 30 yourself. Well, we don't, that's, what? No, ignore him, her, please continue. So, they are hoping, the Lord of the Feast has another 100 or so at the St. Vertuvio's Cathedral. They are hoping to cut it off and be able to surround using the uh, Shepherd's Gate uh, and their allies with the um, with the hooded lanterns. They're planning on attacking the gate from both sides and cutting them off from Saint Vertuvio, uh, from the um, the uh, head knoll. The uh, what's his name? The, the uh, Lord of the Feast. Flash. Yeah, and uh, to be able to take the tower before the Lord of the Feast comes. What we want you to do is go to, while this happens, go to the St. Vertuvio's Cathedral and lead the Lord of the Feast and his minions out of there and have them blindside the uh, other side of the temple. And while that happens, uh, while you guys lead them out, we will come in from behind the Knolls and keep or Garamir and keep and sandwich the Garamir between so they push them uh, to the temple and leave the cathedral alone. At this point, you go back to the Vertuvio's Cathedral and go into the catacombs and uh, get our sacred relics. I'm going to make sure I understood the plan. Go to the cathedral, lure the gnolls out to the gate, disengage, you'll deal with that, go back to the cathedral, and recover the relics from inside. Did yes. I get that correct? Yes. Once you break the secrets and we have dealt with the gnolls, we should be able to then retreat after the battle has been lost and retreat to the cathedral and keep it from the Garamir. Okay. So you lead the Garamir out. We then engage them and push them. You go back to the cathedral, go into the catacombs, 
secure the relics. We'll then, after the battle of the of the gate is lost, we will withdraw. Once the Garamir are engaged with with the Silver Order, we will disengage and go to the cathedral ourselves and hold it. And as you disengage the Garamir and the Silver Order, basically probably kill each other. Exactly. Very clever. Thank you. But the city guard are going to be there too. Yes. And they're, you're going to let them all die? Uh, I don't believe they'll all die. I believe the uh, they'll lose and they'll retreat. And they'll realize maybe that um, allying with the Silver Order is a poor choice. Yeah. They had their chance. You gave it to them. Mm-hmm. You can't feel bad for them. I can. I can feel bad for them. I just can't do anything about it. They're me. Let's go. So you're yeah. okay with this mission? I believe they're planning on attacking it tomorrow. Oh, good. Mm. Yes, we are okay. Well, I am okay with that thing. I would ask that you try to help the city guard escape, but not a, not risk yourself overduly for it. I just would like their faction to still have some relevant. Well, they're not going to have their entire faction. I hope they don't. But uh, unfortunately, because of the Silver Order's plan, it will be mostly the lanterns on this side of the gate. Mm. So the Silver Order will be, hopefully will be in defeat, but it'll be the lanterns that'll take the, the largest brunt of the, of the damage which should shatter their alliance. Yeah, we told them. Hey, it's not like we didn't warn them. It's not our fault. Yes, and if we give them any more information, it will ruin the plan, so not really much we can do. I would have loved to tell them to be on the other side of the gate, but that would give them, I think, too much information. Yeah. All right, so we got a day to sleep it off before we go for these gnolls, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the plan is yeah. not to slaughter all the gnolls. <laughs> that will actually no, we hurt. All the gnolls. <laughs> oh, whoops. Are these gnolls undead or are they no. just mutations? They're mutations. Okay. That helps me prepare the right spells. Mm, I think I'll prepare the same spells I always do. Because uh, you're a sorcerer, that's right. <laughs> yes, that, is, that, that has a lot to do with it, yes. Mm -hmm. I am going to change out a spell, I think. Is it really bad that I'm trying to figure out a way to get a message to the uh, guards to tell them to be on the far side of the gate and let the silver hand take the inner side? Do those spells I mean... speak common? Does anyone know? Yep, they do. I'm lying. I don't know. I guess they probably speak null. If you tell them a pretty, if you tell them a funny joke, they might understand it though, because they laugh like hyenas. Because they laugh like hyenas, yeah. <laughs> Can you guys think of anything that you want done? I mean, I don't want to be like railroading you guys into my plans, but I'm railroading you into my plans. Uh, this plan what? aligns this with your plan. Yeah. Just the part about the hooded lanterns part. I don't have spells to warn them. I'd yeah, love to tell them to be on the other side, but I just... Yeah, they pick their, they pick their fate, unfortunately. Yeah, Zen's kind of hopes they all die out. <laughs> Doesn't care about them at all. Then want them. Then want just want the silver order to be. Yep. I can. I mean, on. it would be nice if the more of the silver order died, but if Theodore Marshall is not on the field, he doesn't care. What's your beef with that person? Uh, sent me to my death, and is the reason why I'm a damp here. Oh yeah, we need to avenge that. You need to avenge your death. 
Come with us. <laughs> Avenge my undeath. No, no, the undeath we're okay with. It's the death part we didn't like. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have a plan? You just gonna do a long rest and go there and figure it out as you go, or? Um, oh yeah. How do we want to lure them out? Bacon. Tell them yo momager jokes. <laughs> Shoot what? the building with a lightning bolt? What do we know about this place? Like, we should probably... Are there any maps that anyone has that Read we can study? Okay. Or the town guard knows something about the place. Anybody got an expeditious retreat? You no, may have to sorry. scout it out yourselves. And are we allowed to scout it out? That's up to you. You guys have a day. Oh. How, how far away can we stand and see it reasonably without being noticed, do you think? Should we go find that out? Can we ask somebody? Uh, I don't... Tricia. I don't know if anyone can really tell you. I mean, that's... Uh, okay. I mean, it. you can get to as close as till someone spots you. <laughs> like, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we want to go just a little bit less than that, please. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I do it all the time. Um, does anyone know anything about Gar uh, the Hyena people? Garamir? Yeah. They're gnolls. Do we know any? <laughs> yeah. They usually they also they, they uh, also keep wargs as well. Wargs? Wargs. Oh, wargs. Dogs, okay. Let's see. Well, we do have a potion of invisibility. Yes, we do. Um, that could come in handy if we were to scout. What does major image do? Hopefully, words don't have the same scent ability as dire wolves and wolves do. A dog. Major, major image would probably be able to. We might yeah. be able to invent something around that. Some kind of distraction with it. We should have a backup plan, though. Yeah. Uh, image for if it fails it. during. Hmm. So we could use that as a distraction. Oh, and we have a spell scroll of gaseous form. So that's even more scouting ability. And tongues, we could use that to talk to the gnolls. Wait, is that reading only? Understand any spoken language. No, comprehend languages is read only. Uh, tongues is be able to speak. So, all right. So, I'm guessing they speak something. So we could try and trick them by speaking to them. We've got illusions. We've got gaseous form and invisibility. I think those are the knobs and levers we have. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that's... Like, how do we draw them out? Yeah, that's where I thought the major image was helping. Yeah, I think so, too. What? So he's the Lord of the Feast. Or do they eat people, or...? Gnolls, right? They're, they're dogs, so maybe a giant cat. <laughs> mm, issue a challenge to him and his pathetic ways? Something good and cutting and insulting. Concentration up to 10 minutes. Um. He could do. An image of something that they want to eat. Someone speaks to them in tongues and say we have an offering for them, and it's out there outside. If you know something about if you can catch them, 
because I'm trying to read how fast you can move this thing, the image, because you can move it. So it would be cast major image, drink the invisibility potion, Fine. and start moving the major image. Okay, but what if they just ignore it? Well, no, we're sort of uh, guessing. Get it, get it, getting the attention and then having them move, I'm viewing it as yeah. two different pieces. Like okay. Getting their attention and keeping their attention being two different things. Lyza would be probably the best person to keep ahead of the knolls. So it seems well, completely real. I believe it, she can it, run it faster seems, than us. It seems completely real, including sounds and smells and temperature, right? So, like, it can, the major image can make sounds too to draw them out. I think that's, you got the formation of a plan. Does any, I'm like, I, I have meta knowledge, so I want to be careful with it, but. Do we know of any of the like, gods that they might pray to? Like god of beasts or a particular demon lord? Yeah, it's a particular demon lord, I'm sure. I don't know about this in, the, in this world. I mean, they're called Garamir because um, I guess... Uh, yes, they're... Yeah. Who knows Old why gods. they're called Garamir, but... Yeah. So uh, I don't have any god. information about their gods because the god i don't, I don't think there these. is really gods in this world or there is but not, and not you know what i mean like the sacred flame is not really a god um what i'm curious about is if we can make some iconography that they might interpret as religious and they you know we get them to you know this is the voice of your god calling you to battle kill the humans at the gate and then yeah. you use it as a banner to draw them towards it. I wonder, Iceheart, if this isn't for you, as you would be making the illusion make sounds, presumably with intimidation checks or persuasion or deception checks through the major illusion. You mean major the skills illusion. I don't have? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed you had high charisma. I have high charisma, and I'm not trained in any of those skills. You don't have persuasion. I, I, have, sorry, or I am I am trained in persuasion, but not deception, oh. which is really oh, you do have persuasion. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I missed that I had that one. But you um, I think I think you probably still do have the highest bonus. Uh, right? I'm plus five on deception. I don't know if anyone else is better. Billy? No. Liza has an eight charisma. She's not a charisma build. Yeah, yours is the highest. All right. So I could try something. Okay, I'm asking the DM, is that something that we think is uh, that's possible? We can come up with some sort of thing because our characters have knowledge that our players might not. Well, I don't, I don't understand. What's the thing? Like, what am I supposed to be telling you here? Like, what So I, I'd like to come up with some sort of iconography that is important to Knowles, if we know uh, of such a thing, and use it, a, and then use the tongue's spell to you, speak You don't know if there's, like, there's no demon prince Yegoth or whatever okay. in the, in this one, yeah. so it's not that. Okay, so we can't do something like that because we don't you know could, if You could have something else like, you know, another Knoll or whatever, you know, to talk and, hey, they're attacking that. I, mean, I don't want to make your plan for you. So No, 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 right. that's fine. But we think that maybe we can come up with some other image that makes sense, like a giant knoll who's telling them, come to battle, the humans are at the gate. What can we do it of the Lord of the Feast? Because then they'll just think they're following their boss's commands. I mean, I guess, like... The only problem is, is that he's probably there, right? So... Well, I think either way it works, right? Because they're going to come out and mm, fair enough. The boss, or they're going to be like, "Who's this impersonator boss? Let's get him." Mm. Oh, I, I like it. The only thing I'm thinking is if we know what he looks like, we can ask. Uh, Lisa. He's an albino. He's an albino. Yeah. Oh, there we go. A giant albino knoll. That's probably close enough. Um, we will ask Lucretia if she knows anything about what he looks like so we can get sort of a show disguise. You <laughs> yeah, you did, but you showed the players, not yeah, necessarily yeah, okay. the characters. Yeah. Okay. Give him a bow um, and an arrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
It looks like this. He's an albino. Yeah. Check out those. Okay. Yeah. Look at the that teeth works. in every direction. Um, okay, so I think the plan on the day, and please correct me, party, if I'm wrong, we go there, we cast Major Illusion to make it look like him, have him try to rally the troops that, you know, hey, our gate's under attack. Let's go defend it. Gather everyone and let's go. And either they come and follow because, well, they're following their leader, or the leader finds out about it and is kind of pissed and comes and tries to chase down that fake knoll. Either way, we try to run. I think this is a good plan. But are we all yep. going to be there? Like, and then we just all run? All right. From a player, uh, from a out of character thing, no, it may, or it makes no sense for all of us to risk our lives to do that. On the other hand, it's a cooperative game. So yeah, I'm not, I'll go. I'll hide. I, I'm not worried about him catching me. So I can be close and hiding and run away with you. All right. So does that sound like the plan we should do tomorrow? And keep in mind, don't split the party. Yeah, that's yeah. sort of what I'm thinking. What? Um, I'd like to ask Lucretia, what artifacts are we supposed to get? Because we have a spell of locate object that could help us find it. Okay. Uh, the Let's see. There is... Uh, it's possible the High Flamekeeper's Phylactery is in there, which is one of the six seals of Drakenheim. By the way, the six seals of Drakenheim are used to uh, control the crown. Right. So it is used to either use the crown for power purposes to unlock the crown or uh, make, you know, crown a new monarch. But you need all That's six right. seals for that. Yeah, so just an oh, FYI, okay. right? Yeah. So the uh, High Flamekeeper's Phylactery is believed to be in there. Uh, but the main part is the... Um, there's a uh, sword in there. Um, sword and Phylactery. I gotta find it. Uh, I guess I can edit it. Oh, Cathedral Catacombs, different one. Hey guys, I'm going to take this scroll of gaseous form, unless someone doesn't want me to take it. Or... Uh, Ignatius, the Sword of Burning Truth. That's the, the that they is. know is in there. They know it is? For sure? Yeah. Sword of Burning. Ignatius, the Sword of Burning Truth. And the other one that might be there. Okay. Is there one that you want more or over the other or Ignatius, the sword of burning truth. But they, I mean, they want to take the cathedral itself, right? Yeah. In but fact, I want uh, they want all three of St. Vertuvio's um, relics and you have one already. Yes. I do. Yeah. We... Okay. So maybe I can study that. Like if you have any literature and then that will help me be able to cast locate object. Yeah. Okay. So I'll take that scroll out of the party treasure. So, Darren, the way that I'm looking at this, we're, we're attempting to lure tomorrow, attempting to lure a whole bunch of gnolls oh, yeah. out from, from the inside and from perhaps outside of the, of the um, temple. And so... And lead them towards the a, gate. Yeah, we have a 20-foot tall... Um, I don't know, sparkling sort of knoll. Is that what we're talking about, guys? Like some kind of prophet looking knoll, or are we just making no, we're it going just like, like his leader? We're going with the leader route because we don't know enough about knolls to know what their prophet type leader would look like. So go with what we know. So it looks like on a turn, you can move the image and make it look like it's moving. It can have sounds that change on your action. And you can move it anywhere you can see in range. So you could be moving incredibly quickly to stay out of range of everybody else. But how are the four of us going to be? We don't need to be near the image. But how 
how do you want to move? Because we do have to stay close enough to it that you can continue to manipulate it, which means you have to be able to see it. Let's go down a separate... Oh, um, you have to be able to see it. Exactly. So we should stay as far back, I don't know, 120 feet back so that you can still see it. So we're 240 feet away from the thing, and we continue to move back as towards the gate as the image walks back. So... I think the best way to do that. The Does best way to do that. What I'm saying. Well, we should find out how far away the the gate is from the the chapel that we're. Uh, eighteen hundred and ninety feet. Okay. Okay. So they're not really going to get far. So uh, the best way to keep it in sight would probably be with someone flying. Oh. But then that would require two spells. I don't know if anyone other than Iceheart has the fly spell. I think we need Iceheart on the... Yeah. Well, if Liza... If, if, if we stay 120 feet away from the image, and the image is another 120 feet away from the nose, we are 240 feet away from the nose. Well, hold on a second. So both require concentration. So Ice Heart it, would have to cast Fly on Liza and concentrate it. Liza would have to cast the major image and Fly while being concentrating. And she could also drink the potion of invisibility and stay invisible. Yes, that's why anybody of anything. And then, uh, if Liza's overhead, invisible, yeah. and I cast Fly on Liza. But remember, fly is only 10 minutes. It's not a long time. It's enough that... to get them to the gate, I would hope, though. Yeah, yeah. That looks like a longer than a 10-minute walk. Yeah, well, they'll be running. That they, they're, they're only running if they're buying the thing, and that's what I'm saying. It, de it really depends yeah. on... I mean, I, I, I get what you mean. We just put the major image there. It looks like their leader, every single one of them, leave the temple. I don't think we're going to get them all. It's just the intent is to get as many as possible. I mean, I think they're supposed to defeat the Silver Order, right? So we do want as many of them as possible to leave the temple. Mm -hmm. And we are coming back to the temple, so that's less we have right. to fight. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I can't think of anything else that would get more of them. Nor can I. You know. Especially um, with that knowing enough about what they are, what their reactions are going to be like. like is it a lie? Know. Would it be lying no. to tell them that if they don't get to the gate, they're all going to die? Yes. Oh, it would? Okay. That's intimidation. Like that's intimidation. That's intimidation. No, no, no. I mean, like, you're persuading them that they're going to die, not that you're going to do it. He it so remember it's the major image that's doing the talking. So it's like, come on, guys, if you we don't get to the gate, we're all going to die, which is I, essentially true. Because the silver order will win at the gate if they don't reinforce it. Is that? It's still deception. I'm trying to deceive them to do something. Even even with words that are true, my You're deceiving intent them with the truth. Deception. Okay, yeah. De deception via the truth. That seems yeah. weird. Well, it's. Deception is trying to get people to do things uh, by lying to them or giving them false truths, things like that. Persuasion is, hey, guys, this is probably in your best interest. Here's the reasons why. And you like trying to convince somebody that something's the truth. Yeah. That that is. So I, I think if, um, if this doesn't lure them out, then the backup plan is just to walk up and throw that freaking comet in, right inside the main hall, and that yep. will probably. Come that is, off. of course, the, that is of course the backup, the backup plan. plan. <laughs> I like the backup run, plan. Run for our lives. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, not too fast. Then they'll still have to chase us. Maybe so, we could start a little bit farther away, and the person dropping the thing can fly. Do you want to go with something like that instead of something so complicated? Let's. Deal with that when we get there, because, again, without having an actual idea of, like, oh, it's completely empty and they all live underground. Well, throwing it in the main hall is going to do nothing. 
So I think we need a little bit more actual B there to determine, okay. yeah, this is probably the best place. All right. So you want to take our long rest and head out there tomorrow morning? Yep. All right. Go ahead and take right. a long rest. And go ahead and travel to St. Pertuvio's Cathedral. Of course, you will need a travel check. Oh, and we're having something bad happen on the way. Excellent. Or something happened. Not necessarily bad. Come on, 20. Oh, oh double God. bad. Sorry. Does that mean two, two fights on the way? Let's see. I think it means it's worse than normal or something. Double the amount of creatures, two sets of creatures. All depends what he rolls. Ghost light. Oh. That sounds interesting. Okay. We get totally trashed by a random mob and can't even go to the thing. Totally screwing up everyone's plans. Can we run? Yep. We absolutely right. can't. So you do see some light, and uh, they they blink at you, and then they start moving away. And we watch them go carefully and let them leave. Okay. Uh, we're trying to maintain resources, so I don't think there's any reason to engage them, unless someone oh, yeah. says otherwise. No. No, we should no. distract the lights with the major image scroll. <laughs> Moving 120 feet away. Okay. <laughs> uh, so the cathedral, um, I will... Uh... There's a description for you. All right, Darren, I'm, put, I'm putting Tiger near the front door, kind of hiding in the alley. These are still concentrating and stuff, I see. Great. Okay. Now, uh, you're obviously not, like, plunk right in the middle of all those guys. It's just, you know, what I can do for the thing that I have. Yep. So obviously there's a whole bunch of uh, Garamir and uh, Wargs on the outside. That's the front door. And there's just a whole bunch of them all around the outside of it. All right. So if we're going to do this, um, so someone to start with, someone cast guidance on me in case I got to make any checks. If you don't mind. I didn't only last a minute. minute. Yeah, no, we're going to do this quickly, right? <laughs> um, and then Iceheart. Right, here you cast, go. Have a minute. Okay, then Iceheart casts Fly on me. Then I'm going to use that major image scroll. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, how do I cast that, Darren? Do you want to just put concentration on me? Are we standing right here? No. no. We're like 120 uh, feet down oh. we're like 200 feet south of where we're standing all right he just put us on the map so we could see right and i am drinking i'm drinking the potion of invisibility so i'm going to take that off our party's loot don't, don't and it after you cast nope, the illusion nope, spell I'm cast, first i'm going to cast major image and put the image right in front of this that front door and then i'm going to drink the potion of invisibility i'll take both of those off okay don't let them don't let them get close enough to the image my is my point because then they get to roll checks okay i deleted both of those so i'm concentrating on major image 200 feet south and i'm putting the image right um right here okay and having it move to stay and i'm going to have it start yelling and 
yelling at him and say there's an imposter and try to get uh, him to start chasing him. How does it know with their language? It's speaking in common. Oh. It's yelling in common. Okay. Oh, we should have, we saw I should have cast tongues on you. <laughs> Could just be yelling. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. All right, well, uh, some gnolls are going to go check that out. You know. All right, I'm going to move it to keep it away from them, but, you know, probably like 50 feet away from them or so. I'm just going to keep you do not moving need it to... further and further away. You do not need to concentrate on the tongue spell. Just an um, FYI. Who has the tongue spell? Not me. It's in, your, it's in the... It's in our party loop, but the problem is, yeah. if I cast it, I won't be invisible anymore. Uh, I can cast it on you. I'll have to just touch you. She, the flying okay. invisible person. Yes, just let us let us know where you are, and I'll touch you. I'll I'll land by mud. It pie. Actually, doesn't say you have to see. All I have to do is touch her. I'll land by mud pie, so. He can touch me, and then I'll go back up to keep control of my image. Okay. Right. Now, and then do you guys have a way of communicating with her other than like yelling out, "Hey, where are you?" Oh yeah, we should have cast that telepathic bond spell. Don't we have something about that? I don't, I don't know, but I can see, I can see where they're they they are in the alley because yeah, but how do you like, like you're getting this creature to say some stuff that they don't make sense? And then he's going to need to cast tongues on you. So you're going to know this through osmosis that he needs to cast a tongue spell on you? All right. I won't know this. I'll just keep trying to get him to follow this this gnome creature. Okay. Well, you're only so far getting like these two groups, and that's it. So... Currently, you got like ten gnolls and two and two uh, wards uh, ch chasing after this thing. Okay, um, I am gonna land, and I'm gonna tell them guys they're not falling for it. What do we do next? So you leave the image there, and they get to go up to it, or I'm gonna mo keep, move it like quite like 120 feet away from them. Then I'm gonna go land, say that real quickly, and see if there's any ideas, and then I'll take off again. In, in one action, you can move it to anywhere else that you can see. And it will move there as if it is natural. So some okay. kind of in, incredibly quick running or something. Double well, moving, have, triple climb moving. Up the, climb up the building and get on top of the roof while I land next to these guys and see if they have any ideas. Here, I have this tongue scroll. Let me... Feel no, where are no, you? Let me no. poke you. Don't want it, it's too late on that. The major image, I think, is not going to be helpful. I think maybe fire a couple of shots at a couple of different groups and try to get them all to chase. Maybe run around, maybe run around the square building. Picking major image lasts like 10 minutes, it's only been up a couple minutes. All right, run the run the image all the way around the building. Gather like right through the groups of people. See if you can gather up as sweep up as many as you can. Okay, I'll run through. I'll run the image right through them all, trying to confuse them and okay. get them to follow. Okay. How long how does off? how long does that image last? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay, with the ten minutes of fly, and them running through. You're going to success, succeed at getting all the outside knolls in that direction. Okay. So I'm going to leave them going off in that direction, and let's go to the front door and freaking cause that some havoc. All right. So you've gotten about 70 Garmir and uh, wargs heading off. Towards the okay. wall. Towards, Towards the, the wall. Gate. Yeah, the, I think the next thing we do is open it up, and if there's a bunch of them in there, shoot them with little pew pew spells and then run for it. All right. You guys ready that, for me to open this door? So you want to shoot them with small spells, or you want me to throw that freaking 
comment in there. We'll oh, see. If there's like three people in there, let's not waste the comment. If oh, okay. All right. I will give some descriptions. It's a long read, guys. So let's. Uh... Oh, there's a lot of things the in here. In there. Wow. Who is the chaplain? Uh. So you're not reading my description? Should I be telling? Oh, sorry. I was looking at the thing first. Uh, the chaplain also is a knoll, so even though it's human. But however, oh, okay. you notice that he has got uh, that object you're looking for around his neck. The sword? Okay. Not the sword. No. Oh, the <laughs> phylactery? The phylactery. He's wearing a sword necklace. <laughs> Tiered platform. Let's up skulls. I see. Oh, no. I... Those are fiends, right? Hellhounds. I missed some. There we go. And the berserkers are Ger are Garamir berserkers as well. Okay, someone cast a spell. I'm going to stay invisible, actually. I don't think I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to try to get that phylactery. You guys get... I'm saying this out loud. You guys get them to freaking chase you. You guys still there? Can you hear me? They're probably mm -hmm. reading. Yeah. Hmm. All like right. Unrecognizable forms of hanging meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Decorate the chandeliers. <laughs> All right. Well, my plan is to step in to get to within 120 feet of that. Um, you speak glorious gold flamed um, brazier and hit it with a um, firebolt. See if that gets their attention. See if that's, you know, fragile or important to them. Okay. I think that's within 100. I presume it's in the very center, that ball in the center. Yeah. Perfect. I'm shooting it with a firebolt. Okay. You shoot it with a firebolt. Well, good news. I shoot near it with a fireball. Actually, three probably hit it because it's big. Good news. Flat, you got moving. their attention. Excellent. We just running? Oh, uh, I don't know what you guys are doing, but that was my plan. There's a lot of things there. Don't be high on the list for once. Just once. That Lord of the Beast has some nice initiative. Oh. That's your way down by Tiger. I'm removing Tiger as soon as I stop scrolling. Ah, Zens. There's like 50 things on the board. You can still go last. <laughs> yeah. That's what after. Yeah, this guy makes me nervous. Look, he went oh. first. Makes you nervous. Who do you think he's going to shoot? Uh, let's see. I'm nervous for you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. Yeah, that's going to hit. Uh, now, let me just double check. Do you roll the initiative? Do you roll the saving throw first? Uh, no, you take the damage. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's all. 
Uh, I think that kills lies, huh? And it's a contaminating arrow. Of course yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I noticed that as well. Now it's the call to the involved. contamination. Okay, so you have one level of contamination. And oh, hold, please. Good. And uh, Lies is no longer flying. Uh, okay. okay. Yep, you I lost your concentration nice on that. Yeah. Did you put yourself in the contaminator, or do you got want me to oh, do it? Or you got so, it? So, no, I can do it. I can do it. Okay. That was the first yep. arrow. Mm-hmm. Snaring. And that's you have to make a dex save or become restrained. Dex saving throw. Uh, okay, that's a fail. So you're going to be uh, restrained. So that means its third arrow is going to uh, have advantage. And this will put me unconscious. Uh, if that puts you unconscious, you uh, you would have had to have failed the save as you get pulled 20 feet towards him. Mm -hmm. Which actually uh, gets rid of good news, it gets rid of your strength. Mm -hmm. hey, Swallow of force. And I take it he wasn't in long range for a bow. For long bow? No. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what. Actually, the wait. Range is uh, it says 150 feet. Was I not within 150 feet? Yeah, oh, you were yeah. within 150 because oh, yeah. that was 120. Oh uh, yeah. Mud pie is within range. Heck, yeah. the cat's within range. <laughs> okay. Um, I can. I've got dimension door. I can try to go in there, and I'm invisible. I can try to go in there and get ice heart out. Okay. But, That's great, you guys. You guys better. If we, if we survive, we'll just leave. Just run and hope they can't follow you. That will be the idea. I'm not sure that they will, but. Uh, you get a you fail a death save as it starts eating you. Holy shit! Where am I in the initiative? Fuck! I got an eight. Good news, all you need is a little tiny piece of uh, uh, of um, the uh, wizard to get a uh, resurrection spell cast on him. Right? All you need is a piece. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, of oh, ice heart. Oh. Just take a piece of ice heart. Ice heart. Oh, another death. There you go. Hey. Mud pie. You have a good plan, right? Sure. Where are you? 50. Let's see. So. Uh, 
There. Uh, channel divinity. A nice heart to bring her back to half. Ooh. Uh, so half of 58 is 29, correct? Yep. So 29. Yeah, hey, good exactly. news. You are no longer unconscious. I don't know if that's Yay. good news. I don't and know if that's good news nice either. Healing word. I, I thought they were just going to take a finger and run. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, there's a dimension door coming, hopefully. I hope. But that's only like one person, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll take, take her. <laughs> yeah, but I'm afraid now you're going to be down. No. Uh, healing Jeez. word, I will apply that. At least move out of the room so he can't just yeah. shoot you. Well, hold on. I'm gonna... My turn's not done yet. Thank you. And I still have plenty uh, of movement. Well, I don't Close know. The door. You don't have. You, uh, why do you have all this move? That's a good question. Uh -huh. Why do I have all this move? Because you were at seven. <laughs> How did that happen? What do you mean? Well, oh, was... you moved in thinking that you could move out again. I don't know why you could thought you you could do all that move. Well, I um, thought it, the system change. limits you or whatever. That's the thing. Well, you, you yeah, you went into yellow and then red and then I mean it lets you move it. It just does tell you. Oh, that. I thought it. Okay, so <laughs> hold on. So I was let's start over. I was back here, right? All right, I'm gonna start you back to where. You, no, all right. Yeah. Wait, don't move. I'm gonna put you back where you started. Then I'm going to reset your move. Okay. Go ahead and do your move. Okay, so I had to be 30 feet from Ice Heart, so that's there. So that's 15 feet, right? Uh huh. That gets me the channel divinity. And then it's 26 20 feet. Thick, 30, exactly. No, I don't want to shut the door. <laughs> All well, right, no. I'm going to have a legendary well, action because you know he has Liza's them, right? Gotta, Liza's got to get her. I got another door over here to go through. but Oh, sorry. I... Yeah, go ahead and shoot me again, Darren. Uh, I'm not. I'm moving 30 feet. Oh. I'm using a dash action as one of my legendaries. That's lovely. Which way, are, which way are we running? Are you running to the east or to the west? I think we're, we're running to the gate. Yeah, which way is the gate? Yes. So west from us. Okay. So I will take Shadow Ice Heart east. Well, we can't move there. There's a player there. Liza. Ugh, I can't squeeze past that hellhound into the door, can I? No. All right. Okay, as soon as I get in here, I'm using my bonus action to hide again. Since I'm invisible, I should be able to hide without being behind any cover. Okay. Because I'm assuming. You want me to roll a stealth for that, Darren? Yes, please. It's oddly enough, assume. one creature in here has extremely good perception. I wonder who that could be. Uh, you really only got a 16, eh? You are not hidden from one person. Okay, I'm going to use my... Um, can I use my inspiration? Okay. Aren't you... Oops, be quiet. Okay. okay, worse. You can still tell... Someone's invisible because of the sounds that they're making, which is why. She well, that's hit. why I hit. That's why I used the I hide know, action. I, know. I was telling Matt. No, I was. I thought you were going to dimension door. Can't make it. Well, I got to get to him oh. first. Let me let's, let me see what the. I'm, I got to look up the 
it range for the, yeah, it have to be from them for dimension. Door. You have to touch the person. Touch. Uh -huh. with you. Yeah. Dimension door is yourself and anyone yeah. that you, you're touching. Okay. Like that's if the, only you use your bonus yeah. action to dash. That's what yeah, I was confused why you didn't do that. I can't. I, I know, because you used it to try to hide instead. I can't use a bonus action to dash. Oh. That's not an able escape. Because you're only... Oh, because you're a goblin. Um, yeah, you're, you're not a rogue. Right, dodge. okay. All right, I'm going to use a legendary action. I'm going to use an action to use a arrow. Um, by the way, Liza, you can't dimension door me. Why? You should read your spell. You can also carry one creature of your size or smaller. You're small, I'm medium. Hmm. Well, shit. Anyways. Okay. Uh, I, I missed Liza. If... I'll give you the scroll then. All right. Where am I? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Just grab it off. Of... Oh, no. She's invisible. <laughs> I mean, they can communicate. Mm hmm. We had a telepathy item somewhere. I think that was for us who had it. Well, good news. If you run uh, run out the time, uh, it'll be two weeks, and Boros will be back. Zen's. Zen's got a master plan now. No, nobody's got a plan. Um, I feel like there's not a lot I can do for anybody in here. Can't see her. Lay on hands requires the laying on of hands. Um, well, that, I'm going to do that, but yeah. uh, I'm going to do this first and maybe they can't, they won't follow us as quickly. Well, we can't leave our friends behind. Oh, I think are you sure? And leave us behind. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't. I'm saying that there's. I don't think we're doing anything but going through that door and die on mud pie. Um, Darren, I these two Those that two? I have here. Okay. Uh, well. Okay, so hmm. one hellhound will be frightened. Good. I shut it first and then walked away. Okay. Yeah. All the misty steps, targets you can see, things. A dimension door doesn't. And then other doors still open. All right. Do you want to do one more round or call it a night? 
One more round, please. One more round. Okay. So, well, the beast gets his legendaries back. And he is just going to shoot. It's going to shoot a first a ensnaring arrow. If you shoot I'm prone. Woohoo! If he's shooting at Liza, what? I'm going to ins instinctive charm him. Can you do that? He can't see you. Or he, nope. he knows where you're there, but he can't see you. He's too far away. I can do it if he can't see me, but he has to be within 30 feet, so I okay. can't do it. Any other things I need to do before I start firing more? Nope. Okay. Loving that you're down. Yeah, that's come in clutch there. Oh, that will probably hit, though. It's a lie he's hit. attacking. It's not attacking, oh. I sorry. Okay. Oh. Uh, wow, three misses for the Lord of the Feast. Good job, good job. Now, see, he's got plus nine. That's what I got, and I missed, like, half the times I tried to attack tonight. I play dead. Uh, make a deception check. Actually, do the hellhounds even? Yeah, yeah. What well, you know, you do it against them. Go ahead, make a deception check. All right. Sorry, one sec. Uh, deception check. Normal. Okay. Let me check their wisdom scores. Okay, or their insight actually is what it is. Okay. Uh, he's going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Do you wish to take it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking that. <laughs> Thanks. Play dead and then I hit him. Wow, it works on dogs and bears. You guys have fireball yet? I have lightning bolt. That's what I have. Liza has something she can throw. That's how it works. Twin fireball, action surge, twin fireball. Obviously, these uh, things around the edges, they're like they have underneath as well, right? Mm -hmm. So those are like balconies. Ice heart. Okay, I have a dumb question. I don't know if there's rules for it, is, my, is what I'm going for. If I stood up, I moved 15 feet towards the chaplain. Uh huh. Uh, no, because uh, yes, I could. And I attempted to grab and pull the um, phylactery off his neck. Is that actually something that can be done within the rules? Uh, called shot kind of thing? Uh, mm -hmm. They have some suggestions, so yeah, you might be able to grab it. You're you are looking at like an uh, most likely an athlet athletics or acrobatics check. All right, let's see what if you're I looking can... for, and it's going to be opposed, right? Uh, right. Well, I can give it a whirl, and let me just check to make sure that it, something else that I'm thinking of works the way I think it does. And that's what I thought. And okay, I will stand up. Okay. Prone. Oops, I went close. There we are. I will provoke an attack for opportunity from the one hellhound. I don't have a choice in that. Yeah, you do not have a choice in that. Oh, thank you, Hellhound. That was very nice of you. I'm going to try acrobatics against him to steal his thing. All right. He's going to use athletics as his uh, minus. But So you need a 12 or higher. I have a chance. As a reminder, you have your inspiration back since you leveled. Oh, oh, great. I will use it. Because I will try that. 
<laughs> it was hovering on 13 and then said, no, you don't deserve that. Okay. All right. Well, I tried. You did. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two sorcery points to quicken a spell called Dimension Door. Welcome to my new spell. And I'm going 500 feet away from this area down the way we're supposed to be running. Because that was the nice, plan. Nice job. Nice alive. job. <laughs> so all the rest of you, you do have to do is get the fuck out of here and you guys will be good. Uh, I'm going to yeah. put you right here just so you can see what's going on. Okay, thanks. But you're gone. You're out of here. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I hit enter. Yeah. And I'll actually. I tried I'll, the best I could. You, you did. I, points, for sure. Uh, I'm going to remove I'm, you from the combatant. Just I'm though. amazed you're alive. <laughs> I'm amazed I'm alive. Thank you for the healing. That made I'm all the so, world a difference. I'm so glad I didn't go inside. Uh, I'm just going to go to there. Unless I'm you want to do an attack you. of opportunity as he goes by, Liza. Uh, no, I'm not using it. No, you're not going to snatch it? Oh, I was supposed to use a legendary action. I'm sorry. Uh, I will use a legendary action to shoot another arrow because he is so interested in hunting this invisible thing. So I am going to use uh, my arrow. What's going on? This is supposed to be extremely That's dangerous, way over your level person. <laughs> you mean the guy who took me down in one round and dragged me closer to him? Yeah. Hmm. This willing creature. Hellhounds move fast. Yep, that's why I have a second dimension door if I need it. <laughs> Mud pie. I will use my bonus action to cast my Free Misty Step. Okay. 30 feet south. Action dash, another 60 feet. So, running. Gotcha. I'll keep you on the board. That was a plan. Yeah. So, you're wrong. I'm just going to keep you on the board for right now just so you can see what's going on. But yeah, you're out of here. Was the Misty Step teleport a mod or was that built in the 5e stuff? That's still, uh, technically, it's a mod. Um, but it's only just an effect. It's an auto. It's the automated animations effect. So it's oh, not okay. even really. A... That's one of my favorite things is being able to misty stuff. Yeah. With uh. So if you end turn for me, I will right. remove you from. Oh, the... I'm sorry. Yep. I'll remove you from the uh, combatant, and I still have one more legendary action that I am going to use. It will be um to dash. And then this guy is going to move to here. This guy is going to move to here. And use this free manipulate. Uh, this guy is going to run away. Make his wisdom check, wisdom save, something or other. Got it. That's, I believe that's a success. It is.
All right, I want to hear Liza's plan. All right. Liza is going to move up to here. That's 11. And she is going to stop dodging. Um, and she is going to try to slide a hand that, that yep. phylactery off of him. Can Go I ahead. With you have advantage because uh, it doesn't see you. Okay. You have the flattery. Right. In fact, I will okay. uh, see if I can find the object, and I'll put it in your inventory. Um, Lord of the Feast. No, that's not it. The chapel has the... Oh, it's not even linked. That's really annoying. I thought it would be linked, and I could just copy and drag it over. That's fine. I'll go into the items. It's not Not on the token. Really Whatever, I'll find it later. Yes, it's usually something I could just grab, but apparently not this time. No, it's I not a token. Did, did, did my ahead. character just? I can't see my character anymore. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, I am going to. I'm going to use my bonus action to hide again. Uh okay. Because okay, she can't that, dash with it. Yeah. In case that guy comes out. Which uh, you should have advantage game. on the, your stealth check as you are invisible. Okay, I'm going to roll it one more time. Come on, a big roll for once. Okay, that's a fail. Okay. Um, well, I rolled for Tiger, but that's okay. It still would have been a fail for me. Okay, I'm, and Tiger is actually going to use his action. Uh, he's going to dash. There. You hoping maybe they heard him dash and they'll go after it? The cat running in front of the dogs? No, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting, making sure he's got a, a large area he can see because I can use that to, I can use his eyes to misty step. Hmm. Oh. If I take an action. Interesting. Good feel. I have no more legendaries left. No. Run, Zens. Run. Zens has a plan. However, this creature actually did manage to get up enough to you to actually Zens will have to make the dexterity saving throw that's a success uh, I'm going to check does it uh... it is half damage on a success okay I, I don't know if it was none I rolled shit. Half seven damage. Did it even do it? No, it didn't. Uh, let me try it again. Uh, oh, I put it to Liza. Whoops. Where's Liza? No. I'll put it back. My fault. My fault. I'm sorry. It's like a third of my hit points. I, <laughs> that's embarrassing, but yes. Uh, targeted. No, selected. Then half applied. There we go. I screwed up. It's always good to go last, right? Uh, yes, you have to no, see where I'm everyone is. Different time. I have no frame of reference, so.
All right, I want. To, I'm curious to see what Zen's master plan is. Darren, is it okay for me to assume that there's like a building on the other side of yeah, this city sure. street? Um, I'm going to disengage and climb said building. And climb up on the building and get out of there. I would okay. just walk up on the building because I yeah. don't climb. Right. It's sp it's spider climb or whatever. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say uh, that you will be able to lies it with your invisibility and be able to miss a step through your cat's eyes. It's great, brilliant. Uh, I am going to end it with you guys getting away. Uh, good job. Uh, I I'm thought surprised it worked. I mean, <laughs> your original plan is kind of fall apart, but uh, you pulled it out of your ass and got the object included. So good for you guys. Um, so when we come back in two weeks, um, you guys can go back into this place and uh, do the second part of the mission. Woohoo! Uh, uh, oh, we haven't quite completed. We just got to get the sword. I got very concerned that we were either TPK or uh, or I, I was dying. Yeah. So uh, I was like, okay, I'm. I, I have a chance. <laughs> they healed me. I have a way out because I do have Dimension Door. I haven't well, mentioned like, it. And you've stayed quiet about that. <laughs> well, so here's like, the thing. I'm not going to be yelling at the party going, Hey, guys, I've got Dimension Door. I I'm know that. I'm just saying, I, I would be dead if I had made the decision to come inside that building. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. I was really hoping you guys would run. <laughs> Heal me. Yes, good. Run. That's very important. Take a finger and run. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed tonight. Congratulations on your level. And, uh, Thanks. We'll yes, it saved you. my life. That's that right. Level. That level it did. <laughs> Let's, uh, I'll see you guys in two weeks. All right. Take care. Thanks. Bye.